Hello everyone, be surprised to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, yesterday we said I will go live when I have 20,000. Actually, we have more. Today in the morning when I wake up, we have 17,000. Almost seven or eight hours after, I have 14,000. So obviously, you know, what people were saying about the numbers in YouTube is not really true. Uh, obviously, somebody is Abdul who work in YouTube. He is changing the number. <clears throat> I never heard of a video. He go, goes to 17,000 by the morning. And then by afternoon, we have 14,000. That's impossible. So obviously, there's a dirty game. So we passed the 20 a while ago. And I think what happened is Abdul, he heard me who work in YouTube. He said to himself, this guy, he said he will not come back unless he have 20. So we will make it not to go 20. So he will not come. <laughs> nice try, Abdul. Anyway, so uh, uh, our topic today is about amazing, the amazing Quran. <clears throat> if you go right now and search in YouTube, you will find endless videos of amazing, shocking facts about the Quran. Shocking facts. Amazing Quran. Beautiful Quran. I mean, <clears throat> you will go crazy with this with, with those videos. And look at this one, Imperio and Leech. Mm. I mean, the Quran says, uh, I will make you a congeal the blood. The Muslim says Leech. <laughs> anyway, but before we go to the topic today, we are going to review some Abdul comments. You know, the, the Abdul comment is the most, my favorite part of uh, what happened to this uh, thing. Hold on. Suddenly my screen went big. Obviously, uh, how we can. I don't know what happened to this uh, browser. <laughs> Suddenly went so big. <clears throat> Let us resize re, uh, it. What happened with this thing? I don't know. Okay, now it's we are going back to normal. I'm not sure what happened. My mouse is stuck suddenly. And uh, <clears throat> all right. So before we continue, you know, we have we are going to go and see some uh, 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 Mohammedan comments. Uh, let us see. All right. <clears throat> Here we have comments made by Abdul, and uh, we will take example of those comments, whatever you know we see in the front of us. <clears throat> so this Abdul here um, is arguing with them, uh, some Christian. His name is Blueberry, and actually I, I really appreciate those who respond to the Abdul when Abdul they talk. Uh, this is why we ask people to make a comment, you know, and. Uh, as you see, we don't delete Muslim comment unless they are trying uh, to post website. We don't, you know, I mean, some Islamic website which can be viruses or etc. Anyone actually post website, I'm going to block you, <clears throat> even if you are a Christian, because we do not know those website. They will lead us to where. Now here you see this Abdul is so upset, and he said, "Why don't you show your face? Then maybe one of the more Muslim will debate." discuss with you and expose your falsehood for sure so you are saying to me you will not expose my falsehood unless i show my face it sounds like saying to me we will not expose you <laughs> what a stupid dummy you are so brother and sister we can expose the lie only if you throw out your faith if you don't throw out your faith we are not going to expose you I don't know what food those Abdul they eat in the morning. Ah, I forgot, they drink camel urine. That explains a lot. Now, he continues saying, <clears throat> Blueberry covered high behind the, the barrier. Eh, my prophet, be, be, peace be upon him. You have to, even in the text, you have to have, you have to put peace be upon him. I mean, the guy is dead, and you are scared even to mention his name without saying peace be. But Abdul, there's nothing that's called peace be upon him. It says, pray for him, not to him. Ask me, hijab. It is not hiding, uh, Abdul. Isn't it your prophet who asked Ali to sleep in his bed so he can run away? Isn't it your prophet who hide in the cave when the Muslims supposed to try to go, uh, the, the, the Arab tried to go after him? Isn't it your prophet who run away to Ethiopia? 
My prophet is not hiding. Hey, by the way, he is hiding. <laughs> Always. Name for me which fight Muhammad he go to. The Muslims go to fight and he was he, he's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so Abdul, this is an excuse. And as you see, Muslims are calling me and they are leaving this now. So no, you call me, you don't call me. The coward is you who cannot answer, and the coward is you who follow a child molester. Because only coward they follow a child molester. Only coward they go and kill women and children who did not even fight with them. Uh like you know, uh, uh suicide bombers uh, even you kill muslims you know just because they disagree with you why this is a cowardness behavior when you cannot refute somebody you cannot answer so you go mad you go you know you go crazy how i'm going to answer him i cannot answer him so i'm going to kill him cowardly religion then he says here blueberry yes of course anyone can believe and anyone will believe if god was seen allah is unique nothing like allah not God is the Father, God is the Son, God is the Holy Spirit. One plus one equal to one. <laughs> there is nothing like Allah, come on. <clears throat> I mean, we have to agree, nothing like Allah. I never saw a stupid God like Allah. I mean, God, Allah, He is God, but yet He cannot hear the Muslims unless He come down. Every night in the third part of the night. Allah is God and nothing like him, but he is the only one who decide that the sperm of the women coming from the ribs and the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. We have to agree on that, you know, proven scientifically. And, you know, uh, one plus one plus one. Actually, I like what Blueberry, he said to him. He said to him, <clears throat> he said, hey, truth speaks. One plus one plus one equal to one is something you Abdul invented. This is true. We Christian, we don't believe in this one plus one plus one. What is that? Is that, math is that a mathematics? Well, based on your stupidity, well, you are Abdul plus your soul, you are two. Man, that's deep. <laughs> you see, aren't you, count aren't you counting the spread as one? And the flesh is one? And okay, so are you one or two? And as long as you are talking about one and two, what kind of God, he speak to himself always as if he is many. I mean, this God, he never spoke to himself as he is a one person. Actually, look at himself here. If Allah is speaking to Allah, and then Allah, he says, may Allah forgive you. So Allah speak to who? To the other Allah. So either Allah is mentally ill, you know, he's suffering from some kind of mental illness, he think he is many. Or Allah, he, he knew he is one, but he liked to talk to himself, he's speaking to himself as another person. Or Allah, he is not Allah because he say, he is who sent down. <laughs> he, he who? <laughs> Allah is talking. And that Allah may help you. Who is talking? Allah. So Allah say, may Allah help you. I mean, Abdul, listen, somebody asked me for help, and I am a Christian prince, and then I said to him, may Christian prince help you? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a, of a stupid religion like this? <laughs> may Allah help you. <laughs> Abdul, but this is Allah is talking. What's happening here? Uh, you know, Allah is not, He just told you the answer. Uh, nothing like Allah. I mean, you see, every stupid creature, nothing like Him. We have to agree. Nothing like Allah. So, uh, you know, uh, Allah is one, but Allah, He speaks to Allah. And Allah, He says to Allah, may Allah help you. <laughs> or may Allah forgive you. <laughs> And then, you know, here the, 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 the comedy continue. So he said, uh, he's answering Sailor Moon. No, you have seen the face of Jesus, B-B-U-H. How come you Muslim, you say P-B-S, Abun Hamd Muhammad, and this B-B-U-H, Jesus? <laughs> Yet people go around making images and statues of him and worship an idol. You see, Abdul, you're an idiot. You see, you kiss a black stone. This is black stone is an image for what? Secondly, obviously you do not know your Quran because according to your Quran, your God, he ordered a great prophet, his name is Solomon, supposedly, according to Muslims, to build the statues. Here we go. 
And I want to ask you, the Muslim they say those are statues for Adam <laughs> and Ibrahim. <laughs> okay, but did you see, did, did, did Suleiman see Adam and Ibrahim and... and <laughs> Where is the okay? Uh, to my feel, here we go. <clears throat> Chapter 34, verse number 13. Okay, so Allah he orders Suleiman, and look, guys, this is the Muslim translation. In the Muslim, uh, this is actually uh, 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 a translation here. Where is the word statues? Where is the word statues? Uh oh. They translate only images. Images of who? You go to the interpretation, you will see images of prophets. But Suleiman, he did not see them. And why Allah is asking Suleiman to make images? Change a translator, you will see it is a statues, not just images. Just to show you the corruption of the Muslims' uh, Quran. You see, if a, if a Muslim he respect his book, he will not take words out of there. You see, here we go. It says synagogues and statues. So the synagogues, the true synagogue of Allah, they are the one who have statues. So when the Muslim they say that Islam is against statues, that is a big fat lie because as you see, the Quran saying that Allah He order His Prophet Solomon. To make images and statues in the synagogue. Now, if we ask the Muslims, so how he is a Muslim then? Isn't it your prophet? He says the one who make an image, Allah will bring him in the judgment day, and he will say to him, <laughs> breathe into it, which means this is you give it, give it life. And if you could not, he will send you to hell. So why this is a contradiction in this religion? Is Islam against the statues or Islam with his statues? Are we seeing guys? So remember this verse, chapter 34, verse number 13. If the Muslim, they would say, oh, at that time it was allowed, which is it stupid to say it was allowed now and it's not allowed later? Statues is a statues. If having a statues in a synagogue, is an order from Allah that's mean well whoever is following that order he is obeying Allah so why the Quran if there is anywhere in the Quran it says don't make statues any Muslim can help us where as you see it says here you can have a statues you can have images So it's clear that when the Muslim they speak, they are like somebody he have a diarrhea, and he have a lot of anger caused and causing that diarrhea, and he will dump whatever come from his mouth out, like a truck unloading the anger. But we understand it's okay. And here, not to forget to forget to mention, as long as we are talking about the amazing Quran, not to forget to mention in the same chapter 34, verse number 14 that Allah he made Suleiman die and he was standing for a year and nobody noticed until the termite they ate his steak which is very normal you know I told you before I had my grand 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 grandfather he died and he was standing for 10 years nobody noticed that he's dead <laughs> nobody <laughs> his wife his children everybody nobody noticed because simply he was holding his stick when he died you know and this is very normal to happen in the Middle East those things happen only in the Middle East by the way and uh, you know to be accurate it happened only only for the Arab, you know, and the Jews, you know, not just the Jews, you know. And uh, <clears throat> so, so if you are in a nation, <laughs> don't try it. Like, so if you're like a grandpa, you die, you know, hold him, hold the stick, don't, uh, that, that will not work. That work only with the with the Middle Eastern people like me. So, so like this, actually my plan is, I will go live, I don't know when I'm going to die, but pff, who care. And, uh, but I will try to go live and I will be holding my stick. And none of you will notice that I am dead. One year goes, two years goes, Christian Prince's life. Seven years goes, Christian Prince's life. Twenty years goes, Christian Prince's life. Nobody will notice. Nobody. Why? Because I'm not going to have a stick made from wood. 
I am going to have a stick made from uh, <clears throat> uh, aluminium. This is how we say it in the Middle East, aluminium. This way I can get the termite busted and they cannot eat my stick. <laughs> this is the amazing Quran, fairy tale stories, flying carpet, genies are diving for Suleiman and they are building for him synagogue. Who is the one who is building the, 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 the synagogue? Shaitan. Who is the one who is building the synagogue for Suleiman? The Shaitan himself. And Suleiman, he ordered the Shayateen or Satans to make statues and images and hang them on the walls. And then we go and read the interpretation, you will see that those are images for great prophets like Abraham, Adam. What a potato religion. And here, don't forget the flying carpet of Suleiman, you know. And into Suleiman we gave the wind, wherefore course was a month journey and evening course a month journey. By the way, this month journey by the speed of the camel or the donkey. What do you mean month journey? What, what, is, what does that mean? What, what do you mean exactly by one month journey? I mean, what's, what a stupid religion. Shouldn't you say, okay, this journey based on what? Based on walking, uh, camel riding, horse riding, because it's different. So, one month journey, so the flying carpet, you know, by the, uh, like, uh, by noontime, you have one month journey, brother. Okay, what is that? Flying carpet, you go read the interpretation, you will see it is, uh, Allah, he gave him a flying carpet, can carry 600,000 chairs. And by the way, this is true. My father, he used to have this uh, flying carpet, but a smaller one. It used to have like, I think 60,000 chairs, you know? And then what happened once, because in the Middle East, you know, there's a lot of thieves, my friend. So uh, my mother, she did wash it. She put it in the laundry line. You know, we don't have a dryer at that time and the carpet is so big, you know? So we put it in the laundry line and then somebody stole it from the roof. Second day, we went in the morning. My dad, he want to fly with the flying, you know, flying carpet. He's gone. You know, we don't know now he took it. We think we are thinking either is either Saddam Hussein or Al Qazafi because all of them they fly. And then they say to us the amazing Quran, amazing Quran, brother, amazing Quran, amazing Quran, amazing Quran. <laughs> Look at this idiot. <laughs> and you know, the funny things about those videos, you, you see how funny, how stupid they are just to get to view. They open their mouth, they squeeze their ass, they do Photoshop, they are desperate for a review. I mean, look at this. Strongest proof Quran I mean look at the verse he chose as a thumb for his video obviously this guy he did not know what this verse mean because if we go there you will die laughing let us go there <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Actually, this verse uh, is so stupid to the point proving the Quran to be to be made by a dummy. Because how come the Muslim they say if you recite the Quran, the shaitan, he will run away. But now you are saying if you recite the Quran, seek refuge by Allah from shaitan. But I thought the Quran protect us from shaitan. It turned to be no. When you read the Quran, you lose your protection. Now, now it is time to seek refuge by Allah from shaitan because you are reading the Quran. So why is that? Do you see how stupid this, this religion is? If I am reading the Quran right now, why I'm going to seek refuge by Allah from shaitan? I'm doing the right thing. How shaitan is going to affect me? Are you saying to me when I read the Quran, I give a chance for shaitan to take over me? This is how stupid this book is.
uh, we continue with the with the comment. So here he say, <clears throat> truth speaker said the black stone or shipper. Blueberry, wrong. Please provide me evidence if you are truthful. I like this thing about if you are truthful. Why you don't call me right now and tell me if you are truthful? We can see. We kiss it because of respect. Okay, respect of what? <laughs> hey guys, we are not pagan. We kiss the black stone because of respect. Do you remember the ones I made the video? I recorded live, you know, remember? I, I went to a Muslim website. And I asked them live on the chat, and I was I was showing you on the screen. I asked them why why you Muslims kiss the black stone. The guy took him five minutes to answer. He says because the prophet kiss it. And then I said okay, and why the prophet kiss it? Uh, he said because it's holy. And I said why it's holy? He said because I told you because the prophet kiss it. <laughs> I challenge any Muslim to tell me why they are even kissing the black stone. I mean, okay, why Prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the Prophet kiss it. What a dumb religion. I mean, when they say to us that uh, Allah is, uh, uh, Quran is amazing, Muhammad is amazing, Allah is amazing, amazing, stupid. And literally, you are nothing but a pagan person. First, you worship a man, his name is Muhammad. Secondly, you associate his name with the name of your God. You Muslims cannot be a Muslim unless you associate the name of Muhammad with the name of God. And not only that, in the top of that, you make a prayer on Muhammad and Allah himself, he pray on him. And then when we ask the Muslims how Allah, he pray on Muhammad, he says, this is blessing, blessing. Allah, he said the blessing, but the verse says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and the angels praying on Muhammad. I mean, we remember the debate where uh, Mimi Hijab, he said to him, this is why it says pray for, not to. <laughs> so Allah, he pray for, for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. <laughs> Supposed it make a difference. <laughs> uh, T is good. Anyway. And then uh, uh, Blueberry, he said to him, just tell, let me tell you something. In order to save an effort using taqiyya, I know everything. You cannot lie to me. Go and lick your dirty moon God stone and ask him, I don't know what is the rest, to forgive your sin. He said, wow, that is escalated quickly. Now calm down. This is the problem with people who cannot argue with evidence. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on. So when the Christian, they came to Muhammad, and the Arab, they came to Abu Bakr, and they said to him, let us debate. Abu Bakr and Omar, they said, go and suck the clitoris of a lad. <laughs> suck, not lick. Suck the clitoris of a lad. And what is that? That is a black stone. So if we, if we uh, uh, think carefully about the Muslims when they speak about evidence, if there's an evidence that Allah is God, if there's any evidence, if there's any evidence that Allah is exist, if there's any evidence of all we will claim, um, um, and Allah has split the moon, but the moon is there, not split. When you say split, it's not a crack, split, split is a split. You know, when you say split, the Arabic word is in al qamar, in shakka, split. So it's two pieces. Did, did Allah glue it again? Where? So, oh, did he say that? So when the Muslim they ask for proof, we laugh because what is the proof of Muhammad to be a prophet? The Quran itself says that when uh, uh, when Muhammad he claimed to be a prophet, uh, the people of the book they say to him, specifically the Jews, uh, we will not accept you to be a prophet unless you do what Allah said. Okay, what Allah said, according to the Quran, according to the Quran, that Allah told the Jews, 
uh, don't accept any profit unless he make a, a sacrifice and then Allah will send a fire to consume it as what happened to Abraham what Muhammad said to them did he say no this is not what, uh, what, what was requested could he say this is not true no look what he said this is chapter 3 verse number 183 the Jews said verily Allah has taken you know a, a, a promise not to believe in any messenger unless he bring us an offering which the fire between two brackets from heaven will devour say verily no Muhammad is refuting them verily they are come to you messenger before me with the clear signs and even with that with what you speak of you did you, 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 you why did you kill them if you are truthful <laughs> and now let me ask the Muslims which a prophet who did give sacrifice and a fire came from the heaven and consume his sacrifice and then the Jews killed him name him any Muslim can tell me any Abdul you see this is this is a stupid book I'm not even I'm not discussing I'm not using anything I'm, I'm just really reading your the screen you're a prophet he been a challenge they said to him Allah told us so he did not say no Allah did not tell him and here you notice by the way this is how stupid this book is if the Jews they said Allah told us so why Allah don't want what Allah told them to do I mean do you see the stupidity look what it says the Jews said verily Allah has taken our promise so who is the one who took the promise Allah not to believe in any messenger unless he bring an offering and then suppose the Allah will send a fire from the sky and that fire will will consume or will take this offering as a proof that this is a messenger of God. What is the answer? Oh, okay. Well, Allah, He sent you messengers before and they did the same, and you killed them. So the verse is so stupid to the point that the verse approve what the Jews says, they agree with them that this is the condition Allah He put. So why Allah don't want to follow His condition? Are we following people? <clears throat> Are we following? Do you understand? This is how stupid this book is. If I say, okay, well, uh, uh, let us say a person, uh, uh, you know, a police, a traffic police, he stopped me. He said, why you are driving 65 mile an hour? I say, well, this is what it says, the law. The law says you have to drive 65 miles an hour, no more. <laughs> That's what Allah is saying to them. <laughs> so Allah, he told them, listen, uh, listen, Jewish people, don't accept any messenger unless he do the following. He's, he know he have to give sacrifice. And then I have to send fire to consume the sacrifice. Okay. Now the Jews, they did what, what, what they asked for. <laughs> Somebody asking, what is Psalm 84, verse number 5, 6? Uh, this is about the value of Bakka. My, my friend, the value of Bakka is a very green valley. Read the verse. I mean, you do not need to be a smart genius. This is about a very green place where it's like heaven, you know, a, a rainy, uh, a, a lot of water, greenery. Is that Mecca? <laughs> that, you know, and by the way, this is, the, the, you know, when, when people, they read, uh, let us say a translation. When you read the translation, uh, you think, uh, because the name, like in English, is not the same as it is in Arabic, or let's say in Hebrew, sorry. So, uh, as an example, when I, uh, when I say uh, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, those who do not know what Bethlehem means, they just know the name. But Bethlehem is not just a name. 
It is a sentence. It's a meaning. So, Bakka here is not the same as in the Quran. This is Buka, the, the valley of a crime, the valley of, uh, you know, uh, let us say, uh, redemption. Uh, so, you know, you have to read the whole chapter and then you will see that this has nothing to do with anything Abdul they claim. But as usual, they are desperate, trying to find something to fit with their cult. When you are bankrupt, you look for your pennies. As simple as that, you know. Bankrupt pennies. This is what's mean. When you have nothing, you look for anything. You see, the Christian they don't get, they don't go to find Jesus in the Quran. We do not need the Quran to approve Jesus. But when you have no honor, you try to attach yourself to anything, so you can find an honor to your own. As simple as that. All right. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, do you have any Muslim have a comment about the verse we are showing, chapter 3, verse number 80, 183? Which prophet, he made an offer, and then Allah, he sent a fire to consume it, and the Jewish killed him. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? Any Abdul? Three cleric arrested of being infected and involved in tourism. Well, this is weird. I mean, the three, they arrested the three. They should be having arrested 30 million because every cleric who teaches Quran is teaching terrorism. This is the book of terrorism. My friend, the word today is just, just a stupid word. You know, everybody is fooling around. Nobody wants to say the truth. That The problem is this religion. It's not the cleric. The problem is not the cleric. The cleric is reading a book in the front of him, and this is all the Muslims agree with. So, around the world, they give titles, ISIS. The fact there is nothing is called ISIS. This is Islam. They even changed the name. Even ISIS, they called themselves Islamic State. They told them ISIS because they don't want to mention the word Islam to be involved with terrorism. Uh, so anyway, do we have any Abdul? Want to answer? Why Muhammad did not keep? This is the amazing Quran. Allah said to the Jews, don't believe in any messenger unless he give an offering. Okay. The Jews are following the line. The Jews are following the order. They will not accept any prophet unless he give an offering, and that offering will be consumed by fire from heaven. What is the refutation? And this is the proof, by the way, that the God of the Jews is not the same as the God of Muhammad. Why? Because if the God of the Jews saying, you shall not accept a prophet unless he make an offering, and then we send the fire to prove to you that he is sent by us, then this God, he refused, the God of Muhammad, he refused to do what the same God he said supposedly. Uh, do you understand what we're saying? <clears throat> if this is a God, his name is Allah. And supposedly he told the Jews, don't accept a messenger unless he send, make an offering, and then I will send a fire to prove to you that he is from me. Okay. So now what the problem with the Jews? No problem. They are following the line. They are following the order of the, of the God. So why Muhammad don't want to follow? The proof that Muhammad God is not the same God of the Jews, he said, say, okay, well, there is messenger before me. They did the same and uh, you killed them. So obviously Muhammad, he cannot do that. What Allah will lose? He said, okay, Muhammad, give them, you know, give, a, give an offering. Just do it. Eh, 
I will send fire. Here we go. Simple. Do you see how easy it is? What this drama is about? Same time, Muhammadan, who is the prophet who the Jews killed him after he sent an offering and on Allah he sent a fire to consume it. Give me the name. Obviously, Muhammad is a fraud. The one who made this Quran is a stupid idiot. If there is any Muslim here, he have a something smart in the Quran. If there is any Muslim here would like to show us something smart in the Quran, because until now we see nothing except a flying carpet, flying with cycle. Hmm. All those videos in YouTube is nothing but a fabrication. Look at this. Look at this guy how his mouth is open. Bible is not the book of God. If you watch the video, you will see that this guy, he is exposing his Quran. <laughs> oh, hard touching beautiful voice reciting the Quran so they bring you a guy who have nice voice my friend this guy who have a nice voice if he even if he say the word shit and he make it a song people will like it don't you hear the rap these days even they don't even have a nice voice <laughs> Ninety percent of the songs these days have the F word. Still, people like it. It's it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, Sheikh Abdullah. Those are the best of the Muslims. Where are they? Look, brother. This, uh, uh, and I bet you she is a Catholic too. A Dutch girl, she cried when she, she she heard the Quran. I mean, those people are desperate for for uh, for uh, for a view. How I can get a view to my channel so I can make some money? A guy is playing Quran. She put the camera in front of her and she have to show this. Even though, you know, first of all, if this is something true, people, they do it in private. Don't you agree with me? Because if this is really something happened already to you, it's already happened. It's not going to happen when you are in the camera preparing yourself, putting the camera there. And then, mm, the Quran is making me cry. And the Muslim, they will say, Subhanallah. She is a Dutch girl. She did not understand what this guy is saying. He's saying shish kebab hummus in Arabic. And she cry. <laughs> this is, and look, she have a million and nine, 1.9 million of you. This is the this is the point. One point nine million. Okay, so why you are not a Muslim? I've known the Quran make you cry, <laughs> and this guy is crying too. <laughs> you know, my friend, are you crying because the Quran is so good, or because there's too much onion? Eat amazing fact to blow your mind in the Quran. I, I wish I can play it, otherwise, but they, do, they, they are reporting my videos for copyright. You know what? I will do this. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, hold on. Give me a second. Because I think there is subtitle. So we can move the video without playing the video. Let us see if there's a subtitle for the video. If there is subtitle. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. So, it. You know what? I want to ask the D show, this guy, the Abdul. Why only eight? I mean, are you saying Allah? He have only eight mind blowing. What about the rest? They are stupid. <laughs> okay, number one. What is number one, brother? What? 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 This is was fast that the Quran is the truth. Look at the fact, guys. This is fact number one. 
I mean, who can beat that? I mean, do you see how strong the Quran? Fact number one, the Quran is the truth. That's it. <laughs> you know what? One day I'm going to die here. And the Muslim, they will say Allah killed him. But I will, die, I will be dying from laughing, not because because of Allah, actually. <laughs> Fact number one, Quran is the truth. The Quran, Abdul, shouldn't, shouldn't you prove it? How the Quran is the truth? That this is fact number one? What do you mean fact number one? Okay, maybe I missed something. How, how this is fact number one? <laughs> if, 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 that's it. Allah, he closed the store. He would not send more revelation. <laughs> you know, you are look like you look like a turkey who would jump in the front of your face before the Thanksgiving, saying, "Don't kill me, Abdul, stupid idiot." Number two, this is the last revelation. Shouldn't we first prove that it's revelation anyway? Secondly, how the Muslim they say that Muhammad he received delivery from a guy who came to him as a man and then you say revelation and then you say inspiration what is that is it revelation it's inspiration because if somebody come to my house and knock at the door that is not a revelation no more because it's not revealed to me and it's not inspiration as the Quran says, وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Wahi is inspiration come to your mind. Is not something will be delivered to you by somebody else's mouth. So this is fact number two. You know, I'm afraid of fact number three because fact number three might kill me. <laughs> Let us skip. Uh, what? What is that? Liberty? Liberty of paradise? It, Islam bring bring liberty of paradise? What, what liberty? You will be sex slave. You Muslim men, you will be addicted to sex. And Muslim women, they will be sex toys. What is liberty? Shouldn't we define liber liberty first? How you are liberated by making yourself more addicted to sex? You are sex slave literally. When Muhammad says each one of you will have orgasm of 70 years, is that a liberty? I'm going to be hold in my place for 70 years have an orgasm. <laughs> you know, Zach and I keep calling me. Zach and I, don't call me now. I'm having orgasm, man. Zach and I call me 10 years after. Christian Priest, I call you 10 years ago. And now I want to talk to you. Zakar Naik, you stupid idiot. I'm having an orgasm. Call me 10. Not now. It's still. I call you 10 years ago. It, it's still, it's still I have an orgasm. Like, hello? And then Zakar Naik, he called me 30 years after. You know? And I go crazy. You know? Stupid Zakar Naik. I told you don't call me. Christian Prince, I need to talk to you. Like, what's wrong with you, man? I'm having an orgasm. Like, I called you 40 years ago. And you have an orgasm. Exactly. <laughs> And this is liberty. <laughs> this is only the orgasm in 70 years. So the sex, how long? <laughs> I can't breathe. Even it's cold. It's getting hot here. Man, I do not, I, I, there is no need for a heater with this stupid Quran. <sighs> Literally, I can't breathe. I mean, look at the liberty, brother. You are liberated. I mean, I'm liberated, and Muhammad, he says, my penis will be in this palm tree. I mean, can't you make it half in this palm tree, please? I mean, don't you think this is very dangerous? I just, uh, hold on. Turn on, turn on. And 
uh, guys, sorry, I'm talking to the police in China. They give uh, a penis of one of my relative, his in this penis, is in China now. I'm translating between them. Uh, they give him a ticket because his penis in China now and is going all out of the borders, going all the way to Tokyo. So we are trying to negotiate how we can get the penis into in, into Tokyo uh, without paying customs, you know, because it's in this. I mean, you're liberated, my friend. You are very much liberated. What is number three? <laughs> Abdul. So if the Quran literally is the spoken word of God, so what is the chapter of the genie? <laughs> you know, you name it the chapter of the genie because simply uh, the genie is talking in that chapter. What the heck? What about the chapter of Maryam? Maryam is speaking there. What about... <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. You know, I mean, this is too much fun. You know, brother and sisters. Number three, the Quran is the word of God. Brother, don't you think? Don't you think we shot that guy in the head now? <laughs> Carefully and love <clears throat> the chapter of the genie. And look, they are 72. <laughs> In the judgment day, I will cry. My friend, I better cry than having 70 years orgasm because 70 years orgasm, I will cry from different location. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is threatening me. You will be uh, you, you will be crying in the day of judgment, brother. What you stupid? Isn't it the Quran promised the Christians to go to heaven? <laughs> Read carefully. Can you make Quran? This is Quran, the word of God. Nobody can make Quran like the Quran. But the whole chapter is the genie talking. Read carefully. <clears throat> it's revealed to me that a company from the genie gave here and they said, okay, so from now here, from now on, this is the genie talking. <laughs> say to you who can make Quran like the Quran of Allah nobody can make Quran will Quran making sure you know, even the Quran saying that shaitan making Quran uh, Miriam making Quran Moses making Quran uh, you know what's wrong with this religion even the hood hood making Quran the chicken making Quran is it this is the hood hood look at this Hood, hood. Uh, who is talking, brother? Brother, who is talking? Who is talking? Is that Allah talking? Huh? Look, even the ant is making Quran till they reach the valley of the ant. And look, an ant exclaim, exclaim, What the heck is this word? I need a week to return it. An ant exclaimed, and she said, which means she said, Oh, ant, enter your dwelling, the Solomon and his any army crush you. Look, what the heck? Even ant make a Quran. Even the ant is making Quran. I 
thought nobody can make one. By the way, how the ant, I mean, is that what the ant she said? Did, she, did the ant she said that in Arabic? Muslims, did the ant speak in Arabic? If not, so why the verse is in tone with the verse before it? You see, because Muhammad is trying to end it, he's trying to make like a rap, you know? Like, so the end she add the word yasharoon at the end to keep it in the the same the, the same rhythm <laughs> nobody can make Quran like the Quran I mean, this is I mean look at this this religion I mean you go on the YouTube science and the Quran and not only that actually they, they, about this look look there is a there's an article there's a video about it they say brothers and sisters the Quran says that one of the end and it says the word Nimla Namla is a female. Ha, ha. According to science, brother, they discovered that the one who alarm and the guard, she is an, a female. How the Quran knew that? Hey, Abdul, in Arabic, we don't have a male ant. All of them, we call them Namla. <laughs> I mean, for those who do not know Arabic, they will say, okay, maybe, you know. It's possible, you know. I mean, the story is so stupid, and now this is a discovery. But in Arabic, we call all those insects, we call them Namla. We don't have a male guy. I mean, we don't look at the balls for the ants. <laughs> we have Namla, which is for many. Namla for one. It doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. Same for Zubab. Zubab is the fly, like the, the you know, the chicken, uh, sorry, the, uh, the house of fly, the black one you see, or whatever color it is. So we say Zubab, many flies, and Zubaba, which means female, for all the flies, doesn't matter, as long as it's one, we call it Zubaba. Doesn't mean it's a female. <laughs> So the word is a female, but doesn't mean it's a female. But they try to fool those who do not know Arabic. So maybe we can fool them too. We can cover the stupidity. So now the problem is not the guy. He heard her speech. But remember, ants don't talk. Ants, they don't make a speech. They communicate correct. As all creatures on this earth, they communicate. But they don't talk it's not a talking. We can call it talking if we want, but it is a different form of for, uh, for, uh, uh, communication. Here in Arabic, it says, "Qalat," "Qalat," which means she said. "Qala" from "yaqul," he said with his mouth. So, in order for Suleiman to hear what she said, she have to be saying something he can hear, and that is a word. And this is why the Quran says, فَتَبَسَّمَ ضَاحِكًا مِنْ قَوْلِهَا So he laughed when he heard her speech. Even the translation here is saying that. So he heard a speech. But ants don't talk. In fact, the ants are deaf. Literally deaf. So they don't have hearing. Ants, they communicate either by vibration, which means they knock at the body of each other, like Morse, or by chemical, but ants don't hear, right? Uh, hey, CP, have you ever smelled mo uh, moles? How did you get the little legs apart? His little part. I don't know. It's, you know, be polite, otherwise I will block you. Be polite. I mean, there is a limit of things you you know you say. Don't be stupid. So anyway, uh, so all this garbage and the Muslim they say to us. I mean, look at this Suleiman. He have an army of birds. Did you watch the cartoon? When the last time you saw a cartoon? This is a king who have an army of a chicken. Hmm? You know the the <clears throat> the Muhammadan. They are like somebody is desperate to find anything to prove his religion. 
and as you see in the video like the quran is amazing the quran is a fact the quran is etc but when the, the second you start asking questions the quran is a big fat failure of lies do we have any muslim want to help us about some facts in the quran i can open my sky for you if there's any muhammadan would like to help us <coughs> Anyone? Any Mohammedan? The hand have antennas which lock on their on the <laughs> Abdul sense. Okay. All right. There's any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is Abdul would like to share with us some facts about the Quran? Because until now, what we see from Muslim videos is really dummy, stupid. And, you know, I mean, it cannot refuse. You see, if this book have one stupid thing, the rest is stupid. Remember, the Quran is a book, according to Muslims, all of it from God. The Christians, when they say the, book, the Bible is the book of God, but we don't say every word is sent by God. In the Bible, there's a priest he speak, there's a king he speak, there's an evil man he speak, there's a good man he speak, there's a bad woman she speak, there's a bad a good man, whatever. So the Bible is a book of history, and there's history written there. When God said, that is God said. When God is not talking, it's not God talking. Here, it all is God talking, supposedly. In this book, based on what Muslims believe, Muhammadan, the black stone kissers, every single word here is coming from their God. And look at this stupid religion. Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. And then Solomon, he understand the language of the ant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody he went to school to learn the language of the cows and then he when he graduated he went from the school and he sp speak to the turtle he taught him the language of the birds the language of what we have been taught the language of the birds so how the guy who was taught the language of the birds, and then he listened to the ant. Any Muslim can tell me? Based on this verse, Solomon, he should speak to the duck, chicken, sparrow. So how do you understand the ant? Anyone? I mean, whatever page you open in this book is just a stupid. And look, Suleiman, he go and he walk. Like here, they are talking about the. Uh, he arrived to the valley of the ant, and he heard the ant saying that, and he was amused with it. Okay. Then suddenly, Suleiman, he checked the birds. Okay, and he said, where is the hoopoo? What the heck? Where is the, how come I don't see the hoopoo? I mean, this guy is a king. According to Muslims, the beginning of his army was in Jerusalem. The end of it is in Iraq. This is how big his army. And now he noticed that there's a bird is missing in his army. I mean, what this guy have automatic system to check his... Who is missing? There's a huge army. He noticed that there's one bird is not there. And then Suleiman, he said, huh, 
Verily, I will punish him with hard punishment. What you will do? You will make him barbecue, don't you? I know you, Suleiman. You like barbecue. What do you mean you could do? Okay. And verily, I will slay him, or he verily shall bring me and plain excuse. Like, what the heck? So now, Mr. Hoodhood is under the threat of being barbecue. Why? Because he took a vacation without permission. And now, Suleiman, he will send the MP, the military police, after Mr. Hoodhood. <laughs> and you know, the, 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 the Muhammad is really a mad, stupid person. You know, people, they have stories about this bird that he is a general. <laughs> <In the, laughs> I mean, he looked like a general, to be honest with you. <laughs> he looked like a Roman, a Roman. A Roman <laughs> so Muhammad, he decided to give him a job in the Quran. <laughs> I mean, come on, where he go? The King Solomon is wondering, where is this bird go? Huh. If he don't give me an excuse, I will make him shish kebab. Huh. Where you been, coward hood hood? Did I give you permission? And then later we find that Hudhud, he went all the way to Yemen and he was spying at a woman, her name, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, the queen of, of, of Saba. <laughs> and he noticed that she have nice legs. <laughs> I mean, you know, it makes sense. I, I think Suleiman, he was a single person like me. He have hard time to find a, a woman, she have nice legs. <laughs> Brother Suleiman, he go all the way to <laughs> to the to the queen, and then brother the afrit, the afrit, the shaitan, they made her hair, her legs full of hair. <clears throat> Look on the heck, because they don't want Suleiman to fall in love with her, and they love each other because Suleiman he love legs. <laughs> So Suleiman, he went there like he's looking at her legs, and I know. And then the wind came, and the floor was like a mirror. So he was able to see her panty, and then he saw the hair of her legs. Oh man, disgusting! So Suleiman, he said, "Oh no, no way! <laughs> I'm not going to marry this gorilla." You know. But then Allah told him, Suleiman, this is the act of the shaitan. Her legs is very fine. Like, what? <laughs> True story. <laughs> <They're> amazing. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, oh, boy. I'm telling you, it's really hot here. Even though it's winter. What the heck? <clears throat> uh, you are going to call me or Sat Haruna? Uh, okay, I will call you Haruna. Hold on. What is your name in Skype, Haruna? Well, I sit behind the microphone. You sit behind what? <laughs> <coughs> okay, Haruna. I'm opening my sky for you now, just to let you know. Just to let you know, in case you know, don't know. All right. All right, my Skype is on. What is your name there? <coughs> what is your name in Skype? Hey, Haruna. What is your name in Skype? I am in Skype right now. Haruna? 
Guys, my, my nose start running from laughing. <coughs> you smell ultimate fart? <laughs> Jalalain? Oh, Jalalain, your name. Oh, okay, let's call you in Jalalain. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, I smell ultimate fart too. <laughs> I'm calling you Jalalain Haruna. Using in, in the uh, Senegal internet. <clears throat> Jala is not online. <coughs> Let's try to call you again. That's music. So what we will do, Jalalain, Mr. Ultimate Fort? You know this guy, by the way. You know when when people they go to to the casinos, you know sad people they go and they lose and they they now they they wanna gamble more and then they lose more. This is exactly what happened to this guy. I mean, doesn't matter how many times we, we make him shish kebab, but still he call, actually he get more excited because now he want to return his honor, which is <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> Let's give him try one more one more time to call. <coughs> All right, well, obviously this guy don't have internet anyway. Any other Muslim? If there's any other Muslim here? Would like to say anything about the amazing Quran? You see, usually I don't take really a call at night, but you know, today we'll make an exception. We will not talk for long, you know, because already it is 11.26. So... <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I know. You see, there is people. They are leaving Islam. They are fake, my friend. But he, but, but he failed to show us. He failed to us. You know, imagine those liars. They say that they know the guy who called me. Why you don't go and record him and get him busted? Go to him. He said he's my friend. Okay, go record him. Take your phone. Say, hey, this is me. Why you speak to Christian friends saying this is me? You know, it's you. They don't do that because they are desperate. They're trying to cover up how in the world a lot of Muslims live in Islam. Potatoes. Uh, <clears throat> Abdul, there's any Abdul would like to join us? <coughs> Anyone? Let's try to give him one more call. Haruna. Ultimate fault. Yeah, give me a break. All right. Um, let us see. Any Muslim would like to text me? So I will call him. Uh, this is a person asking me to call from a while ago, from Saturday. I don't know, it might be now middle of the night for him. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? You know, there is a, there is a, one of you, he sent me a message in Patreon saying that there's a guy, he is saying he, 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 he do Christian Prince dare to show up? You know, I said, okay, well, I will call him. But how will show up if you don't give me Skype? Show up where? This guy, he said, you know, he sell, he used to sell bikini and now he said hijab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> do Christian press dare to call me? I am the only one who opened his Skype. I don't know who would call me. We, we cannot, we cannot like, uh, you know, Zachary Naik, when he have a, uh, let us say, a presentation, all the questions they ask him, they've been taught to him before they start. Everything is a setup. Everything is a setup. I don't know who's calling me. I don't know how his level is. He is a big shake, he's a small shake, he's an elephant, he's a giraffe. I have no idea. Yeah, the guy actually, you know, he, he said he wanna, he challenged to debate me too, you know, but uh, he will not give me a Skype to call him. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a job? You open a store to sell hijab. This is a, this is a job for a girl. Obviously, you are a womanizer trying to get women to come to your store. Like, imagine a man who opened a store for bikini. Uh, who is going to be customers? Women. Why you are interested in selling women? What about putting the women in the store, not you? Obviously, he's a womanizer. Like Muhammad. And you know, by the way, he have the right to have four. So he, you know, <laughs> four women, they got inside the store to buy hijab. He married them all <laughs> for one day and he divorced them the second day. <laughs> uh, so do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul to tell us, is it true that the Quran really have amazing facts as you Muslim they, you say is it true like we go to your videos on YouTube uh, let us see this guy is trying to call you cannot call me unless I accept your call so you have first to text me and confirm that you are a Muslim if you are a Muslim I will not take your call uh, I would like to talk on the stream Okay, are you a Muslim? Are you? When you text me, tell me if I are, you are a Muslim or not. If you are not, then don't text me. I'm not going to take your call if you are not a Muslim. And if you are a stupid playing games, I will block you right away. I will hang up on you. <clears throat> So if you are acting, trying to claim to be a Muslim just to call and to be funny, life we will we will we will shut you down. Ex-Muslim, but I have a question about the prophecies about about the Quran. How you can prove them wrong? Okay, because he's an ex-Muslim, we will take him then. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air, so you are next Muslim? Do you hear me? Okay, do you hear me now? Yes. All right, you are next Muslim, you said? Yes, uh, and I have questions on how you can refute the prophecies said by Muhammad because like, most of the prophecies are being proved proven true. Like what? So can you like what? Uh, like uh, they say about uh, the unavoidability of riba in the end times? And my friend, my friend, you see, this is stupid of the, of them to say that because interest is something according to the Quran, the Jews they, <coughs> they practice at that time. So if the end of the time people they practice riba. That means that the end of the time start before Muhammad. So this is stupid to say. Even Muhammad, according to Muslims, they say he borrow he borrow money from a Jew, which means he paid him interest because a Jew will not give you money unless you pay him interest. So if the judgment day will happen because people are corrupt and they are paying interest, that means Muhammad is the first one to be a corrupt person and he was paying interest. Otherwise, how he got the loan from the Jew as the Muslim they claim. Yes, hmm. and so what see, see what about? Yeah, they they make the claim that uh, there's going to be big tall buildings built. 
in well, the Tor end time. Is built before Muhammad. If you go study history, you will see that the Yemen, Yemen supposedly, the Muslim, they claim this is where the Arab coming from, according to them. So Yemen, and go right now, search for, you know, like old building in Yemen, you will see very high buildings, and those are shepherd, you know, they, this is what they, they make living from. They grow shepherd and sheep, and they are naked. So... <laughs> So they have high buildings since, since since the time of Muhammad. So if this is the case, well, Islam is you know is is a fraud. In the same time, let us say let us go for the sake of argument. If the judgment okay. day will happen when the Arab have high building, okay. So why is that happening? What is that? You know, okay. The the, the Arab have high building since long time ago. So where is the judgment day? Right? So when a Muslim he says something to you, I mean, it's very easy to refute the stupidity. Are you there, my friend? Hello? Yes. Okay. Because but how, how can we prove to like uh, the Muslims that this is true? Because they show us that uh, the Middle East is becoming green again and it's becoming like how Muhammad the prophesied. The Middle East, my friend, is dead. It's not going green. That's stupid to say, with my respect to you. Because if I make, if I, uh, if I, uh, if I take the water from the ground and I water the grass in the front of my yard, that would not make the Middle East uh, uh, green. Actually, Jordan just bought millions of gallons of water. They paid money from it, from Israel. So they are desperate. Uh, Egypt is going to go in war with Ethiopia just because they built a dam. Syria and Iraq, they are dying because Turkey closed the river and they put dams on the rivers. So the whole Middle East have no water. And Emirat, their water is coming from the, from the sea. They are spending a lot of money to make the, the salt water fresh water. So did the Middle East become a green? Absolutely false. It's the opposite. It's, it's, it's more dry. Don't the whole world speak about the global warming? Yes. Don't, don't don't history and science. You go right now and see. I remember in Saudi Arabia, you know, a, a, a Swedish company they build uh, uh, they build uh, a phone, uh, you know, phone center like phone company, and they have an agreement of a twenty five years uh, of use, which means the government allowed them. Okay, you build the company, you have customers for twenty five years. You collect money. After twenty five years, we take the company from you. <coughs> When 25 years is over, the sand of the desert was already covering half of the center. <laughs> so everybody knows about the sand and the, and the desert is growing, not shrinking <coughs> in the Middle East. So all of this is just a garbage. You know, the, uh, the Saudi... So, uh, the Saudi how really are these lies so far spread? Like, friend, the if, claims... if, you see, if, if nobody want to use his brain, those lies work. It depends how stupid, how smart you are, how educated, how much you search, how much you study. Yeah. Yeah. And can you debunk the claim of embryology in the Quran? Well, this is very easy. Actually, this, this is not only debunk, this is the proof that Allah is false God and Muhammad is a false prophet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because... Can you, can you do it? Like Sure, we do it right now. Because in the Quran... Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Because, you know, the Quran, you see, there is the, the easiest way to prove anything is to go to their books and when the Quran says in chapter 23 verse number 14 as an example and then that he, we made we made that the, the sperm into a congealed blood yeah how that can be a miracle this is a stupid because there's no scientist in the world agree that the semen will transform into a blood and that blood will become a baby so the verse here says, and we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. That's mean the sperm itself become a dead blood. And then that dead blood will become a lump. And that lump will, will become, a, 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 you know, a, like a, a piece of a, a lousy material like bones. And then we, clo we make the bones and then we close the bones with the flesh. So according to the Quran, the last thing is to close you are bones, the last stage, and then Allah, then he closed you with the flesh, <laughs> according to which science. So, <clears throat> and according to which science, sperm will become a blood, 
and according to which science the the, the, the blood will become a, 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 a lump this is a, this is the whole stupid thing and that in the same time the Quran make it so clear that the the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man so how in the world such a thing can be true so all of this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet not to forget to mention chapter 86 verse number six and seven says that the sperm of the man coming from the back backbone and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and we can open right now Ibn Kathir and we can read the interpretation and everybody will laugh so what the Muslim they will say we don't agree with the interpretation what the Quran says that not the interpretation the, the interpretation so, is just saying what the Quran is saying <clears throat> yeah so the many Muslim doctors are lying my friend, anyone who don't want to be honest, he can be dishonest. This is not this yeah, is yeah. this is a choice people they make. But for us, you see, we are not showing you a book made by somebody. He is a Christian. This is not a book made by a Jew or a Hindu. Those are their scholars, and those books is what they teach to their children. So when they're a scholar, they explain the Quran and say the following. <clears throat> Read with me carefully. I don't know if you can see the screen. He created the fume from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid comes brushed forth from the men and the women. Okay, continue. It says, meaning from the backbone of the of the man and the ribs of the women, <laughs> which is referring to the, ch the chest. <laughs> <laughs> so how in the world? So are they blind? No, they knew. But you see, the, the, this is the whole idea. Uh, uh, Islam is a big scam. And there's yes. people they so make, like they make a benefit the from this scam. Billions yeah. of people in the world are lying and playing this <laughs> lie with well, each when other. When they lie, when they lie, they are lying to themselves, not to us. Because here we go, it's in oh. front of us. I go. This is Ibn Kathir. Is Ibn Kathir is a Christian? Is he a Jew? Is he a Hindu? Mm, no. Okay. So what we will do? The second you ask them, they say, oh, open the interpretation. This is not what the Quran is saying. Okay, we open the interpretation. And now what they will say, oh, Ibn Kathir is just a man. Well, Muhammad is just a man too. When Muhammad, he said this. <clears throat> you see, the, the, the master of biology is Muhammad, right? <laughs> Doc yeah. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor, Doctor Muhammad. So when Muhammad, he says, uh, if a man have, a, have an orgasm first, <clears throat> The baby will be a boy. In which science is that? <clears throat> yeah, it's not science. That's just that's not only talk, the science. Man. That is a stupid, you know. So, yeah. uh, 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 so when Muhammad he said such a thing, obviously he either he is just being a stupid, you know, or trying to be smart. And you know, speaking in front of people who do not know anything about medicine or biology, and at that time would work because they don't know, you know. <clears throat> uh, let us it's put the hadith here. <clears throat> here we go. This is the hadith in the front of us. It says, Muhammad yeah. said, and this is Sahih, they cannot say this is weak, and you know, uh, it says here. The messenger of Allah, he said, the water, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Muhammad is expert with orgasm, which one of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Okay, what do we do now? Is it, this is a prophecy. This is a Muhammad making prophecy now because this is supposedly nobody knows, right? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, this is stupid. Not only the main thing. What, what about Muhammad saying that the sperm stay inside the mother Billy for 40 days? No. When if we go to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, in Prophet Google <laughs> he will say that the maximum days for a sperm or semen to live is five days. Five days maximum. So yeah. Muhammad he did not really make a big mistake. It's just only I mean thirty five days. That's all. You know? Yeah. It's not a big deal if you think about it. I mean, it is five days, but he's close. Because Muhammad said 40 days. I mean, what's the difference between four, five days and 40 days? Not much. It's just a few weeks. What a big deal. Come on. You know? Yeah. Not a, it's, it's just a month and, you know, two weeks. <sighs> or let's say 
uh, yeah, a, a month and one week. One a month and one. Week. I mean, it's, come on, it's not a big deal, <clears throat> right? So, like, <laughs> all of Muhammad's prophecies were false. All Muhammad prophecy. There's no prophecy. This is stupid things. How in the world we can call them prophecy? Because. <laughs> Because I did leave Islam, but like it's hard to fight with these prophecies they give. Ah, uh, come on, my friend. This is stupid, don't you see? Just watch yeah. my videos and take notes, and you will see how you can refute their stupidity. So did you leave Islam yeah. only and your or your family with you? No, I, I just did myself. And, you know, usually when you leave Islam, they say like, oh, you're under jinn possession or something. I noticed, by the way, when you call me that you have a genie in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of a religion believe that shaitan he sleep in your nose piss in your ears mm, no. and and uh, no piss in your ears sleep in your nose and he jump at your mouth and when you, when you are yawning <laughs> so like you debunk islam but you're a christian so like what's the difference between islam and christianity because I left Islam and now I don't have a religion, so I don't know if Christianity is true. My it friend, seems my quite similar to Islam. No, it's not. There's nothing. There's no connection between Islam and Christianity. Muhammad, because it's a scam, he used the name of uh, uh, Christ in his Quran, but just to be accepted. It's like a, the, the the fake cable guy who come to your door. He say, "Hey, I want to install the cable for you," but in fact, he is a thief. This is how Muhammad and what Muhammad is. So there's nothing whatsoever between Islam and Christianity. We have no connection. Islam is just a fraud. It's a collection of pagan religions. So Muhammad, he took some from the Christians, some from the Jews, some from the Arab, some from the Persian, from some from the, yeah. uh, the, 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 the fire worshippers. And he put it all together. And he made a new religion. And he says, okay, this is my religion. So what Muhammad do is the same as many cult, or let us say, political leaders they do these days they smile to everybody yeah. just to be elected you know so muhammad in the beginning he was weak he wanted to be accepted he don't have army yet so he said to the christians you will go to heaven he said to the sabian he will go to heaven but the sabian they worship stars <laughs> yeah how how you know how the sabian and the christian and the jew became a family <laughs> you know <laughs> In chapter so, two, in chapter two, verse number yeah. sixty-two, he said, "Just this is a, this is Joe Biden making a speech for election." He said, "Verily, <laughs> verily, those who believe and those who they are Jews and those who they are a Christian and those who they are Sabian, because those are the three major religions at that time. I mean, there's no like nobody left." So and Islam whoever, lies and about Christianity. In Allah, okay, and whoever believes in Allah, which means nobody left. That's it, because all the Arab believe in Allah. <laughs> Okay. Whoever be love Allah on the last day and do righteous, he will go to heaven. Like, who, what the heck? This is a speech of election day of Joe Biden, who forgot his name. By the way, what's my name? <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> so, yeah. your name is Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you are not the senator, you are the president. <laughs> so, I want to say to you, my friend, as long as you left Islam, I'm very happy for you. Yeah. What do you know about the Messiah? Well, even though I'm an atheist right now, I do not know if Jesus existed. Like, is there proof? Oh, for sure. What is the day today? I, I don't really know. Wait, let me check. Hmm. Take your time. It's 18th November 2021. After Christ. Thank you very much. So... Even your computer, yeah. even your computer run by Christ date, even your salary, even your watch, even your phone, even our conversation, even your everything. So when somebody says, I don't know if crisis exists, but everything proved that the crisis exists. So, I, you know, for me, you want to be an atheist, this is your business. But, you know, atheism is just another stupid religion, too, because... Yeah. 
Uh, no, no, I don't have a religion, so I, I, I'm just scared to be fooled like I was by Islam because no, I, I don't want escaped you to, Islam. I, yeah, I don't want you to be fooled. I want you to read the Bible. You know, you can start reading from the book of Luke or the book of John or whatever you want, book you want. And uh, maybe I will, I, will, I will advise you to do something. Maybe it's strange. Okay. Go, I don't know if you have a physical book of the Bible. Do you have any copy? No. No. Oh, but I can buy one. Okay, get one. And uh, you know, the Muslim, they will say to you, uh, there's many versions of the Bible. Those are translation, my friend. There's no, those are just translation. The original okay. is in Hebrew or in Greek or in Aramaic. So, a translation. And then, maybe you can do little, let us say, uh, little uh, try. Hold okay. the Bible in your hand make like go quiet and say to you in your heart lord show me something in this book if you are exist and then open the book whatever it's open start reading so in christianity is jesus god or he is god like absolutely of... yes he is god yes yeah he's our yeah, lord he's our for me for me uh, trinity is not confusing i think it makes more sense than islam does well my friend god is almighty and if God he yeah, cannot yeah. be what He is, I mean, what are we going? Why the Muslim don't tell him they're God? How come you have a leg? Nobody ask him. Okay, well, your your leg is made from what? Nobody ask him. Uh, the Muslim they don't make fun of Mary having a child without uh, a man. Why? Because the Quran says so. So the Muslims are hypocrite when they question things. But if Muhammad he says there is Trinity, everybody, every Muslim will say there is Trinity. If he yeah, says there is no Trinity, Trinity. He will say there's no Trinity. Yeah, but Trinity makes sense because God can do anything. So no, it's not about God not, It's not about only God can do any things. This is how God He is. Are you? Are, you know, either you accept that God is God, and then you don't question like, because if we want to question, we should ask us everything. We should question Him. How you can be God? <laughs> you know. So how? Hey God. How do we? Hey God. How we create this earth, man? Come on, tell me. Hello, you cannot do it. <laughs> Prove it to me. So, so if you wanna, if you wanna start asking questions, I mean, we have to question everything. We have to question how God can be God yeah. and how you can do this. Okay, how Jesus can walk in the water? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, how Jesus can make the blind see? How Jesus he is because born without a father? God. So the Muslims are hypocrites. They question only when they want, and they go blind when they want. I don't want you to be blind. I want you to question. Yeah. I want you to do the opposite. So uh, I, I, yeah, I want you to be smart and not to accept something unless it is really, yeah. you know, go into your but heart and make you. How do you know that Jesus is just not like Muhammad? What if Jesus well, first is of also all, like? Muhammad? I will give you a sentence. The Messiah he said, he said, yeah. "From their fruits you shall know them." So what we need to do about Jesus is to examine the fruit of Jesus. As simple as that. Yeah. Because I can make a speech to you uh, about me being good. Right? I can claim to be the yeah. best, you know. <clears throat> but I can be the opposite. Actually, most of people who claim to be good, they are not. Yeah, like Muhammad. It doesn't matter really. Most of people who claim to be good, I don't, be, I don't trust them. I, you know, I trust a person who says I am bad more than a person saying I am good. So, did Jesus say he was bad? No, he said I am the good shepherd, and this is why we say, let us examine if he was good or not. So, if he passed the test, which he himself he put the terms and the condition of it, then that means Jesus is not hypocrite. So, when Jesus in Matthew said. From you shall know them from their fruits. He speak about himself too. <clears throat> so I advise you to examine the fruit of Jesus. Jesus, he never owned a slave. Jesus, he never cared. Yes. Jesus, he never <laughs> fornicate. Jesus, he never cheat. Jesus never lie. Jesus never commit sin. Jesus. Never, he didn't marry a six-year-old like did, Muhammad. And, so and never get paid. You know. I mean. Uh, you see, if you, if you ask me, Christian Prince, are you good? I'm not going to say I'm good. I mean, I'm a sinner. I, I, you know, yes. I would be a big, big liar if I say I'm good. No, nope. You see, the Bible says no one is good but God. When a person, he said to Jesus, are you? You are good. So Jesus said to him, 
Why you say I am good? Only God is good. The Muslim will say to you, but oh, isn't see, Jesus, Jesus saying, God? <clears throat> yes, but Jesus, he, he said in the same time, I'm the good shepherd. So he's saying to him, oh, how okay. you know that I am good when you know in the same time that this is a description will not be given to anyone save God. You know what I mean? How you know? Yeah, I that am, makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> so Jesus, you know, I, I can I can claim to be good too. You can claim to be good too, but talk is cheap. That's why I say to you, when Jesus said in chapter 7, in, in Matthew, from their fruit you shall know them, you can go and examine the fruit of Jesus. So if he saw, if he said, don't do fornication, and he fornicate, well, that means Jesus is a, is a liar. If he yeah. said, don't lie, and he lie, well, that means he's a liar. If he say, you know, whatever he said. So examine his fruits. If his fruit is wonderful, is his fruit and his act is in total agreement with his teaching, that means this person is perfect and perfection is only for God. Jesus in the cross, you know, when, when they asked Jesus how to pray, like tell, teach us how to pray, he said, say it like this, our Father out of heaven. And then he said to them, forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So imagine Jesus, he don't forgive, but he is the one is asking us to forgive. But look what Jesus did. In the cross, Jesus, he said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what are they doing. He's asking forgiveness for who? Do you know? That's very merciful. For the one who is killing him right now. It's not like yeah. this is later after the pain is gone. You know, I mean, right now they are they have nails in my hands, nails in my feet, and they are insulting me they are rejoicing for my death and then in the same time i'm worried about them and actually yeah the mercy of jesus here is not only about forgiving he did say something very important to the christians because somebody might say hey well, let us go and seek revenge so. seek revenge from the jews because they killed jesus nobody now can say that why because jesus said forgive them father they didn't know what they are doing so if jesus himself he forgive them I cannot say I'm going to go after the one who killed Jesus. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I his left mercy, Islam because that wasn't the truth. So I'm really interested to know if Christianity is the truth because I'm impressed that you debunk Islam, but you are a Christian. And in my mind, Christianity is kind of like Islam. So I would love if that was disproven. Well, uh, didn't I just change your mind a little bit at least? About yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. So, what do you think? Yeah, I'll look into it because I have respect for Jesus as a person, if he's real or not, because he is much better than Muhammad, who I used to follow. My friend, so. I will tell you if Jesus is true or not. I am a person since I was a kid. I'll take a gun with me wherever I go. I used to fight with people I do not know. I used to jump in a fight. I have no idea why I'm jumping in the fight. I see two people fighting, I jump in the fight. Like, you know, I see two guys fighting one guy. I jump with the one guy against the two guy. Why? I do not know because I felt it's not justice. So I jump in the fight. So I was a person who jumped into fighting problems, trouble for no reason. I, you know, like to the point any fight happened, my parents, they, they blame me right away, even if I was not guilty, really. If anything happened in the in the in the school, they accuse me that I am behind it. So I have like a very very bad reputation as a person who yeah. jump into fight. So with Jesus, I am a different person now. I don't go and fight with people. I can still carry my gun, you know, <laughs> but but I don't fight anyone. So Jesus can change you and make you a better better person. But with Muhammad, will make you a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's why I left Islam because so, yeah, it so wasn't the with, truth. With, without Jesus, I was a, let us say a terrorist. You know, I terrify everybody. So with Jesus, I am not. With Muhammad, you convert to Islam today. You were a nice person all your life. You joined Islam, you became a terrorist second day. Yeah. So with Jesus, you will be the opposite. Without Jesus, is different person. So if Jesus is not real, how Jesus had changed me? And made me give my time and give my work uh, to serve him, to save Muslims from him. We love Muslims. We don't hate them. So how do you know the word of Jesus? Where do you get it from? The Bible. 
That's why is it written you, by Jesus? You know, it have to, you know, you see, uh, when we say it is written by Jesus, uh, why Jesus need to write it? Because Jesus, he was speaking to thousands of people and he had disciples. And he said to them, go and teach what you heard from me. So it was the duty given to the disciple to teach and preach and carry on the word. At the same time, Jesus, he said, the sky, which means the heaven and the earth, will disappear or will be dissolved, but my word will be always protected. So the teaching of Jesus is not a book. Is what yeah. came to us with his, let us say, amazing work. So, because book is a way of transmitting information, because we die, right? We die, we don't stay alive. So, uh, okay, now I have an idea, I'm going to write it. So when a child is born, 60 years after, he can read my idea, right? Yeah. So, yes. because we don't live for it for, forever, we, we write books. But for God, there's no need for books. That's why when the Muslims, they say that Allah have a book, that's stupid to say. I mean, why Allah have a book? He's eternal, according supposedly. Why when I write a book? If, do Allah have a bad memory? I write a book because I will die, because I will not exist after maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. So we write information so we can carry on the information to coming generation. But the word of God is with God always, and always he can keep it with his own people. So, and you know, Jesus, he said, to make the whole Bible so, so short, he said, wish to others what you wish to yourself. This is the, this is the book. That's it. Wish to others. So, what do you to know more about Jesus, I'm supposed to read the Bible? Yes, for sure. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, don't you want to know what he did? Don't you know what he said? Don't you yeah, want to know his, yeah. his teaching? I do. <clears throat> but my question to Christianity is just like, what if someone doesn't know about Christianity? Will they go to hell? Well, you know, let us make it simple. If I am a person who work in the fire department, I come to your house and I knock at your door and I say, hey, there's a smoke is coming from your roof. You know, there's a fire. Mm. And you say to me, yeah. I don't care. Get, get out of here. No, I don't believe you. And then the fire came and ate you alive. Do you blame me or you blame yourself? Um, myself. Okay, this is what Jesus did. So God, he sent his only begotten son to save you, saying to you, there's a fire is going to come to your house and will eat you. And you say, I don't care. I don't believe you. This is your business. We believe in free will. Yeah. So free will is your decision where you want to go. You want to be with him or you don't want to be with him. Yeah, but what about places like North Korea where you're not allowed to be Christian? What friend, will happen to my them? My friend, all those have an answer in the Bible. As an example, let us say a person, he never heard about Jesus. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, that person will be judged by what God gave him, which means the knowledge he has. So let us say a person, he, he's born in the jungle of Brazil. He don't even, he have his own savage life, etc. Those people still, God will be just with them. He will not judge them with somebody the same as somebody he received the Bible. So yeah, that uh, seems fair. Yeah. So when God He created you, He put inside you, uh, uh, you know, uh, humanity, which is a fiend of a human. So when you <coughs> when you rape a woman, you know it's bad, right? When you see somebody, yeah. you, when so, you see somebody is crying, obviously you made him sad, right? You do not need to be genius. Uh, when you steal, you know this is not yours. Uh, uh, when you kill, you know that this is blood and this is ugly. You should not do that. So even those who don't have book of God, God, he put inside them some knowledge about right or wrong. Let us say yeah. it's something born with you. So he, God will judge them by what they know. Nothing else. Yeah. Like Thank same, you, Sebi. The uh, same for a child. Uh, yeah, the same for a child. If a child is born yesterday and he died tomorrow, Okay, is God going to judge him because he don't believe in Jesus? No, because he's a child, you know? So he will go to heaven. So, simply he so not it's not like Islam. No, it's not. No, my friend. God is about justice and justice is you will be given and you will be questions about what you've been given. Nothing more, nothing less. So if, so if, you, take, if no... you take from me, I, I will explain to you. If, if you take from me one pound, why I'm going to ask you for a dollar? When I gave you a pound. So yeah. I give you a pound, I question you about the pound. I give you nothing, I question you about nothing. So a child, he was given nothing. 
So yeah. I don't have to question so, you about anything. So it's not like Islam where Allah decides everything and you cannot change it. Yeah, they believe in destiny. We don't believe in that, you know. We believe so that there's no predestiny. We have a free will. No, we have a free will. This is why Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you have to do the will of, of, of the father. It's a choice, but you, you don't have to if you don't want. Uh, okay. Yeah. So those who do the will of the father, it is his will, but still you choose it yourself, which means, okay, this is his will. And now should I follow it or not? This is your decision. <clears throat> so okay. we don't believe in such a thing. It's called destiny. I can say we have little kind of destiny. Let's say it's a destiny since Adam commits sin that we are going to die, right? I can't change that. Yeah. So I can say this is a kind of destiny is exist, but this is not what Islam believe in. Islam believe that your act is a pre-written in the book of God, and He decide for you what you will do. So what the point of judging me for something He forced me to do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Islam, so it's not like Islam, that simply, Islam simply is a stupid religion, you know, doesn't make sense in every word and every mean. Anyway, my friend, uh, uh, go read the Bible and I will be happy. I will yeah. give you some time. Call me again, maybe some other time. But just remind me because I have tens yeah. of thousands text me in this stupid Skype, you know, just tell me I'm the one who spoke to you before uh, and I'm ex-Muslim, blah, 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 you know, and I will, yeah. I will call you. Yeah. Anything yeah, else, thank my friend? Thank you, CP. You're welcome. No, nothing. Should I ask yeah, you from there if you don't mind to say? If you don't want um, to say, no. okay, no problem. All right, take care, my friend. God bless yeah. you. Yeah, right. yeah. Thanks, CB. Bye. Bye, bye. We'll pray to our friend here. <clears throat> we ask all the Christians to pray for this nice gentleman to to see the truth, and the truth will set him free. Right? This is what we can do. You know, we have them now. Here we have a Muslim. He said something here. Let me put it on the screen while I was talking to this gentleman, the ex-Muslim. <clears throat> Uh, okay, I will call you the one who says Muslim here. Give me a second, my friend. Proud transphobe. I don't know what does that mean. Hello, CP. If you say Quran miracles are laughable, why Jesus turning water to wine false or uh, genesis or the genesis? I'm not sure what you mean. The one who made the question, can you make your question more clear? What, what do you mean? I don't know. Why Jesus turning water to wine false? The question doesn't make sense. Are, do you believe it or you don't believe it? You see, <clears throat> if you read the story, you will see that Jesus, he doesn't really, it's not his interest to make the, the water wine. His mother, she asked him, do something. Those people need your help. He said, my time did not come yet. But here there is something you need to, to remember. Why Mary, she asked her son such a question or such a request? <clears throat> I want people always to think uh, uh, carefully. How many mother of us, she go to her son and she said to him, make water wine. Or even she did not even say, she said, <laughs> you know, they are out of wine. <laughs> I mean, how, how in the world this request happening? <clears throat> Obviously, Mary, as the Bible tell, from the beginning, she knew when the angels told her about who is Jesus, what Jesus she will be, who is this person she is going to carry, she will deliver. So the, 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 the mother of Christ, she knew very well she is asking who for the impossible, because that is impossible. We bring you water. You make it wine right away. So she is not asking for something is possible. She is asking for the impossible. But the question is, why she was sure that he can do such a thing? This is telling us that Mary, 
she was one of the first believers in Christ. <clears throat> Correct? She believed, <clears throat> and she believed heavily that Christ is the one to ask impossible to. Chapter 2 On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twenty or thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior. You have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. I mean to that. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he, his so, mother, his brothers. So here, here, you see that Mary, our beloved lady, she said to them, do what he will say. She was sure that he will not reject her request. At the same time, she was sure that the impossible is possible when it's come to Jesus. See, she did not even say to him, make water, wine. She said, they're out of wine, do something. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? So this is why with, with the Messiah, I mean, those stories are amazing. And uh, for sure, some people would say this is a fiction. This is going to be true. Well, my friend, I believe that the fiction which was not a true yesterday is a true yesterday today. Which means, it was a fiction 20 years ago when they make a movie that somebody go into the space. Today they are going to the space. It was a fiction that there's a flying car. It's true today. It was a fiction that there's a car. And it's true today. It was a fiction that we will, uh, uh, we will speak uh, from far distant to each other. And it's happening today. So, if the man he can make what was fiction true, what about God? Are we listening, people? If I came, let us say, a thousand years ago, and I say to people, you can speak from China, and I will hear you from America, people will put me in the hospital of crazy people. They will say, this is stupid, it's mad, you know? People will make fun of you, you're stupid, literally stupid. But this is what's happening today. And nobody is shocked and nobody is surprised why because we're used to it when somebody speak from a studio and then the image come to you in your tv screen how i'm just connecting to the electricity i'm not even connected to the internet how the image of this person come to my tv that is impossible but it's true and it is possible so what was impossible it turned to be possible which was fiction is it true radio waves exist but we can't see it so why do they believe in God if you believe a radio wave 
<laughs> I will not believe in God unless I see God. Do you see radio wave? We don't. Thank God we don't. Otherwise, we will see nothing but phone calls around us. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, my friend, uh, for me, the intelligence is, it's not about Jesus, he can do miracles or not. Let us say for the sake of argument, Jesus, he did maybe zero miracles. But the real miracle is to make a human being a different new human being. Jesus, he bring us back to our humanity when everything around us work hard to turn us into animals. This is the real miracle of Jesus. His miracle in us, not in walking water, not in making the wine out of water, not in healing the, 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 the blind man. Even the blind man, he said to Jesus, uh, Jesus said to him, what do you want? He said, I want, to, I want to see. I mean, the blind man, he was able to see Jesus better than us. Because why in the world the blind man is asking somebody walking by, I want to see. I mean, if I'm a blind man at that time, I need a sandwich, I need a food, I need a shelter. But... I'm not going to ask somebody walking by to make me see unless I see him better than everybody around. I can see that this is the person who can make me see. So the blind man in the time of Jesus was better than many of us today who have eyes, but yet they cannot see what Jesus can do. Not only God can do miracles, Jesus the Messiah, he is a miracle. And this is why when Muslims, they say great things about Muhammad, I love. Muhammad is not a miracle. He never did miracle. And he's an idiot. He's a child molester. He's a criminal. He's a thief. He's a liar. <coughs> he went to his own son. And he fled with the wife of his son. I mean, how far, how far faith can go? So we can't even compare between the Messiah as a person. Even if you are a person, you don't want to believe in the Messiah as God. But there's no better person than the Messiah. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Okay, we have somebody here. He said to me, I'm a Muslim. Hmm. We we'll tried to call him. It might be ultimate fault, you never know. Let us lower the ring until he answer. Hello? 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 Yeah, that's daddy. daddy here, we go. here we go. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Go watch your videos, the last ones, and laugh at yourself. I do not know. I do not know. Uh, okay, what is it? Does it matter? Who, what Allah created first? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know it's you, you idiot. Before you call me, by the way, does that make me profit? I acted like one. Mm. I mean, from all the Abdul in the world, I did not get anything except this chicken. This this person present to us how Muslims are so confused and how Islam make you stupid. I do not need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. Okay, what translation you accept? I don't accept any translation. Okay, choose one. Rashad Khalifa. We go to Rashad Khalifa, we find that missing half of the Quran is missing. He adds sentences, he takes sentences, he puts sentences. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> All right. 
Sorry guys, I'm coughing. Let us see. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? And real Abdul. Um, my prophet, he said, O oh, Fatima, Gabriel told me that my family will be the first to meet me. So it come true. <laughs> Let me show you a miracle of Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad told him after he met his family that Jibreel told him that he will meet his family. <laughs> Look at this miracle. You know, when we are talking about Jesus walk in water, make the water wine, make the dead alive, give the blind the blind eyes, heal the leper. <laughs> Feed thousand from nothing. Muhammad told him, Dibli told me I'm going to meet my family. And he told him that after he met his family. That's deep. Answer this. How we can answer this? Can you answer this? Sure, I cannot answer it. <laughs> it's like the prophecy about the Roman, they will be victorious. Muhammad, he made the prophecy about uh, after the victory happened. It's like saying Trump he win the he will win the election of 2016 a, a Christian press it is 2020 now 21 uh, what 16 talking about it was this was a while ago yeah this is a prophecy Trump he, <coughs> he will win 2016 uh, election like uh, listen this was many years ago already he won and now he is not the president no more I'm telling you this prophecy. He will win the election in 2016. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, actually, if we go in the books of the Hadith, uh, re read this one with me and love. Abu Sa'ad narrated, on the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. Okay. So the believers were pleased with that. Then the following verse was re relieved. Alif Lam Mim, the Roman being defeated, up to saying they will, they will be victorious. Like, what the heck? So Muhammad, he received the verse about the Roman will be victorious after they become victorious. How that is, man, this is so deep. So now the Roman, they've been victorious over the Persian. And now Muhammad making a prophecy. The Roman will be victorious. But Abdul, he, they, they just did. By the way, I have many prophecies, if you remember. You know, as an example, many years ago, many, many years ago, I mean, nobody, nobody before me said that. I said many women, they would have their period this month. Do you know how many they had that, that month specifically? <laughs> That's so deep. That's so deep. Muhammad is a prophet. And not only that, as long as we are talking about the Roman, look at this one. Muhammad, he claimed that judgment day will not come unless the Roman will become the major population of the earth. Like, what the heck? What? The Roman, they will become the major population of the earth? <whistles> That's deep. Let me see, let me find the hadith. Man, how Muhammad he knew this? Um, 
Let me try to find it. Hold on. As long as I mention it, I, I better I find it. <clears throat> uh, the Roman, you know, this is Italy. Italiano, hey, Tony, bambino. So, according to Muhammad, that the Roman, they will be the majority of mankind. How that? The population of Morocco is way bigger than the population of Rome, I think, of Italy. And actually, even the population is shrinking. Look at this prophecy, and this is Sahih. They cannot say it's weak. I heard Allah Messenger saying the last hour would not come until when the Roman would become the, the uh, would form the majority among the people. Look at this. So the majority are not the Asian, are not the Chinese, <laughs> are not the Indonesian. <laughs> Is the Roman <laughs> somebody saying a Roman Catholic? That is very silly. The Roman is Roman. Roman is a, is a first of all, there's nothing that's called Roman Catholic. This is you know, this is later a name given to a church because in the beginning, both of them they were fighting over the name Orthodox, not Catholic. Secondly, Roman is an, is an ethnic, is an ethnic, and then when those Roman they occupy other lands. There's people being given citizenship, but they are second citizen, not first citizen. So the Roman is a group of people who they are coming from a certain location in this earth, and they are a small, tiny place as a population. So how they are the majority of mankind? He did not say the Christians, he said the Roman. Because the Christian is not only the Roman, remember. The Christian, even Muhammad himself, he went to the king of the Ethiopian, who is a Christian, right? The Egyptian, they are Christians. The, the Aramaic are Christians. They are not Roman. So he said the Roman. Um... And by the way here, this will prove Muhammad to be stupid again, because the Muslim, they keep saying that Islam is the fastest growing, and Islam will dominate the earth, and then Muhammad, he says, well, the Roman will be the majority. Fix that. Roman is coming from the Rome, Rome, yeah, the, you know, those who belong to the capital of Rome. The citizen of Rome. And now, where is the citizen of Rome? Fix it, if you can fix it. And not only that, Muhammad, he predicted that the Muslims will be the most little religion in the world. So Muhammad, he predicted Islam to shrink and to become the most small one. Let us see if we can find the hadith in English. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> See it? So Islam is taught as a small religion and will end as a very small religion. <clears throat> is Muhammad a true prophet? Muslims? If Muhammad is true prophet, Islam should shrink and die. And the reference in the front of you. All right?
So Islam must shrink in order for Muhammad to be a prophet. All right, we have somebody trying to call. Uh, oh, this is from before. From yesterday. Sunday. Oh, this is old calls. All right. Any Muslim? May they, may they. Anyone? I want a Muslim to make a video and tell us why Muhammad did lie because you Muslim keep saying Islam is growing. You remember the gentleman who called me and he said he's an ex-Muslim and he said the Muslim they say that the prophecy of Muhammad the Arab will have high buildings. Okay. And this is a sign of the judgment day. All right. But based on this, Islam should be small. To the point there's nobody, because the same as Islam is started with 70 people, this is the end, which means will be maximum 70 people. And not only that, Muhammad claimed judgment day started since the moon split. If you go to the chapter of the moon, which is very funny chapter, you see one of the one of the funny things about uh, about uh, Quran. The Quran, there's no there's no introduction for what's happening. Suddenly, okay, the hour has drawn near, and the moon is, uh, has been cleft asunder. Okay, what happened? And then here between two brackets, it says. The people of Mecca requested the Prophet Muhammad S.A.W. to show them a miracle. So he showed them the splitting of the moon. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, who want me to make a miracle? Let me search for the date of the eclipse. Okay, I'm going to split the moon for you. All right. I mean, it doesn't say who did the split the moon. Uh, it, the, the translation here, by the way, is very funny. Because in Arabic it says... The judgment day is near and the moon is split. Who split it? Nobody knows. When? Nobody knows. What happened? Nobody knows. Secondly, if you change the translation, right away you will see the whole chapter, the whole verse changed in a miraculous way. This is how corrupt this religion is. Look, that's it. There's no show the miracles, no. The hour... Between two brackets, the judgment day is night and the moon cleft asunder. So what is this is verse a claim? That this is not a miracle only. It is a sign of the judgment day. It is a sign. I am a Muslim, not a scholar. Uh, this is maybe ultimate fault again. No, this is not ultimate one. <coughs> Hello? You can avoid daddy. Daddy, yeah, daddy. Ultimate fault. <laughs> okay, ultimate fault. Daddy, daddy, okay, daddy. Okay, let us, you see, because, really because, we, are, you. because no. we are out of customers, let us laugh. Explain to us this Run. verse. Explain to us this verse. No. Yeah, explain. We got to go back to 424. Remember? You said 424. Uh, just a stupid idiot. I gave you a chance, you idiot, but you're a dummy. As usual. Go back to 424. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he can't sleep since then. He go in the market, he say 424. He go to the grocery store, the quick Christian present to me with 424. <laughs> he cannot live without it. <laughs> Abdul, go to Quran 424. Potato. Go back to 424. I mean, from all the Muslims in the world, I got nothing except this watermelon, which is damaged inside. Go to 424. Okay, do you know how to read it? Go to 424. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Go 
to 424. Yeah, this is what happened last time. <laughs> it became history since then. <laughs> No, go to 424. <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> yeah. Anyway, do we have any real Muslim? This person, by the way, he is, uh, he is, he will never leave my chat. This is what happened when somebody get humiliated and he tried to retain his honor, which he have none of it. He called the Arab stupid donkeys fool and his prophet is an Arab. He said whoever believe in the hadith is a stupid donkey and his prophet is the one who made the hadith. He said that he do not need to know Arabic and he understand the Quran without knowing Arabic when the Quran says we never send a messenger to his, unless he is sent to his people speaking his their tongue, so it might make it clear for them. So he is getting his God busted by saying, "We do not know. We do not need to know Arabic, because why I need to know Arabic? I can understand the Quran perfectly without knowing Arabic." But his God says, "No, I send my messengers." in the tongue of the people, his people, so they might understand. So it make it clear. So you stupid donkey, who don't want to leave my shoes, we spank you a hundred times. It's time for you to go. Just go find different person to harass you, stupid. I mean, come on. You see how stupid you are? I do not need to know Arabic. So. The Quran saying it will not be clear to you unless you speak the tongue of the messenger. So when you say you do not need to be speaking Arabic, you are going against the Quran again. Stupid idiot. Certified idiot. Not only stupid, you are a certified idiot. Literally. Literally. Anyway, <clears throat> CP, at least give him a chance, his own dear brother. No, we, we have enough of this kid. I'm not going to waste my time, you know, screaming and etc. You want to laugh, go watch his videos. All of them, they are recorded and they are there. I know many of you are just coming here to be listening to a stupid idiot like him. You want comedy. You are not interested of learning. What is the benefit of me talking to such a person who say whatever he wish? What is what is that would do to you, Abby? What exactly that would do to you? This guy he don't agree with anyone. He make his own answers, which nobody agree with, even for Muslims. So why you want to give him a chance for what? Isn't it enough all the chances we gave him before? Or you are desperate for a comedy? Or maybe you are silly. Give him a chance. So all this time we take calls from those people. The same person, he called me for the last century. Until now, I did not give him a chance. Give him a chance. <laughs> Some people are weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 okay. You hate Islam? Okay, hold on, hold on. We have a Muslim here is angry. And as you know, we want Muslim a point of a view. Okay. Uh, look what this guy he's just saying. Be my witness. He is saying that, not me. He said, your hate for Islam and your evil, I think you mean evil, Love will never stop our perfect deen from entering into each and every household in the entire universe. My friend, that happened a long time ago. Open the TV stations right now, you will see a terrorist attack in London, a terrorist attack in Norway, a terrorist Muslim attack in, in Nigeria. So you Islam entered every day house a long time ago. Secondly, you idiot. We just showed you your prophet saying Islam is dying and is going to die. 
So what we will do with that? What we will do with your prophet who keep making poo poo? Huh? What is this? If Islam would enter every house, why your prophet saying Islam is start as a small and will end as small? So who is the liar, you or Muhammad? Are you there? Potato? Mr. Aman? Aman, Rabbi Aman. <clears throat> this is Mr. Erdogan. So are you saying your prophet is a liar? Do you just say, did you just insult your prophet? Are you saying that when the prophet says Islam start as a small, tiny, and will end as a small, tiny, he did lie? Are you there, Amman Rabbi Amman? Amman Rabbi Amman, be honest with me. The Muslims now, they will say that you are sent by a Christian prince and I paid you five hamburgers to say this statement. Be honest, did I pay you five hamburgers? Aren't you a Christian undercover? Are you making fun of Prophet Muhammad? It sounds fishy for me. I think Christian Prince, he paid you to say such a statement so Christian Prince can show this hadith and then everybody will laugh at Muhammad. Brother, don't forget to contact me. Because later Allah will pay you five hamburgers. <laughs> My prophet never lied. Will your prophet say is Islam will shrink? And you said no. Guys, look at this. I mean, what those people eat? What they eat? Somebody tell me. My prophet never lie. Okay, but you just said you just oppose yourself. You say to me that Islam will enter every house. Your prophet said. Islam will die. So what we will do now? And as long you are saying my prophet never lie, well, okay, that's mean you did lie. Choose one. <laughs> my prophet never lie. Ah, so your prophet when he says. The one have orgasm first, the baby will look like him. <laughs> he does not lie. No wonder. Muhammad, he never been able have to have babies because he never have orgasm. Actually, even the hadith, by the way, proved that Muhammad never had orgasm and he never gave his wife orgasm. Uh, th there is one of the comment, by the way, about this, uh, the, the previous video, he says, when Muhammad, he says, no disease which the negla seed does not provide remedy. He said, Christian Prince, it's very well known that this uh, negla seed help in every disease. Abdul, it says, cure, shifa. It doesn't say it help because all seeds will help. Tomato will help. Do you know that? If you eat tomato, it's very healthy. If you eat even grass, it's very healthy. So it's not a secret that everything in our body, we are what we eat. So food supply affect our health. And seed in general are very useful for a human being. Uh, so when Muhammad, he said, he did not say, this seed will help to fight illness. He said, who she fa who she fa read in Arabic from it is the cure the cure there's no need for other things for the cure so when Abdul he tried to fix it he make it blind Muhammad he did not say it will help you he did not say it can make you stronger no he says that from the black seeds, there is the, the cure. So if you have cancer, you do not need anything except the black seed. Right? This is uh, uh, now, here we go. <clears throat> uh, 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 ultimate 40 will not stop 
trying to call me. <laughs> He's in the heat. <laughs> he got his period. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> what do I do with this guy? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, my friend. Hello? <clears throat> hello. Uh, yes, yes, hello. Yes, uh, you are a Muslim, right? Uh, yes, yes, I am a Muslim. All right, can you speak louder, please? Uh, yes, sir. I so, can what do you like to say louder. to us? What do you like to share with us about life on air, as you know? Uh, uh, sir, can I uh, talk about something else that uh, you are uh, talking on the YouTube? Some Can I talk about some other topic? Okay, what topic you want to talk about? Go ahead. Uh, sir, basically, uh, first of all, I would you know, like we, to... We are, we, you know, we are, I'm, I'm like you, nobody is sir of anybody. Speak to me as you wish. My name is a Christian. Feel free to call me Christian. Okay, Th Thank okay. you for being uh, polite. Uh, I appreciate that. But, you know, I mean, there's nobody... Okay, brother. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, brother. All right. So, uh, brother, I would like to ask you a question. Sure. That uh, uh, do you th uh, do you believe that uh, uh, there is prophecy of uh, Jesus Christ present in uh, Torah? There is a prophecy about Jesus Christ in the Torah. Yes, this well, is another question. All, all, all the Torah, all the Torah is a prophecy because if you read, as an example, Genesis five, you will see that the names, even the names of Adam. They are prophecies of our Jesus. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, to, so likewise, I would like to say that uh, uh, as the prophecy, as the Jesus Christ was foretold in Torah, so likewise, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was also foretold in Bible. Okay, so Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do not, I, I cannot exactly figure out which, verses. Which, which Bible? When you say Bible, Bible is a I mean book of books. When you say Bible, the Bible is book of books. So which book? Uh, sir, I do not uh, exactly know the uh, reference, but uh, I have a Protestant friend. Mm. I have uh, one friend who uh, who is uh, Protestant, okay. and when I asked and when I asked him that uh, Prophet Muhammad is foretold in the Bible, so he said that Prophet Muhammad is not foretold in Bible, but uh, the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. That is not Prophet Muhammad, but Holy Spirit. Okay. So, can you also uh, tell me about those verses, if you know yeah, them? Yeah, well, if you read those verses, you will see it's speaking about the Spirit, and that the Spirit is not Muhammad because Muhammad is not Spirit; he's a man, right? Yes. Okay. So there's no need even to talk about it. So when when uh, when the Muslims they try to find Muhammad desperately in a book, in the same time they say that this book is corrupt. Isn't it? This is really crazy. What do you think? Yes, exactly. They say that uh, okay. Bible is corrupt. So why and why I want to look for a, for my prophet in a book? I believe it's not a book of God anymore. This is this uh, is a crazy. So, so the question so, is so, for you as a Muslim, you should ask yourself why so, why Muslims me, brother, uh, why Muslims can't uh, prove that Muhammad is a prophet from their book? Why they can't uh, prove that? Pardon us? me, what do you think? Par pardon me, brother, but I would uh, give you an argument likewise that uh, as we believe that Bible is corrupted. Uh, but we give the evidence from Bible. Likewise, you also, uh, the Christians also think that Torah is corrupted, but no, you also No, give that's not true. No, evidence. that's not true. Not a single Christian can say that Torah is corrupt. That's false. We accept all the Old Testament. This is why if you go and get the Bible now, you will find that the Old Testament and the New Testament is called the Bible. It's not just the New Testament. So whoever told you that, that's false. Secondly, the Muslims, when they say, mm -hmm. they, this is what they say in YouTube, right? That the Bible is corrupt, yes, yes. but the Quran says the opposite. If we go right now in the Quran, we will see the Quran saying that the Quran confirm what is with them. Yes. Okay. Lima yes, ma'ahum. Yes, I don't know yes. if you speak Arabic. So the Quran doesn't yes. say for what it used to be with them. It says what is with them. So a book came confirm what is with them. Chapter two, verse number eighty-nine, and there's many verses. Not only that. Yes, yes. So when their book says, when the Quran says, and this is your book says, confirm what is with us, and then you say to me, your book is corrupt. Who is the crazy here? 
Uh, no, sir. Uh, actually, uh, the argument that basically uh, that the Gospels are corrupt is that there are so many versions of Gospels, like Gospel of Luke, Gospel of John, and Gospel of Matthew. But friend, the friend, version of Quran my, is just my, one. My friend, no. You see, you, 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 with my respect to you, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you. This is ignorant of yes, you president. to say so, because this is not a version. The, the Bible of Luke is the Bible according to mm -hmm. Luke. It's different from the yes, book. So this is not different version. Four writers mm -hmm. for the same story. So this is the this is the Bible. This is not the from version. This is not a new Bible. Our mm -hmm. Bible is four books. This is our Bible. Our book is four book, not one. Yes. So you got it wrong. Secondly, isn't it the Quran says that the Quran teach that Jesus have disciples, and he asked yes. them to help him to spread the message. So those are the disciples. Same time, your prophet yes. he says. Khudul Qur'an and Arba, take the Qur'an from four. Yes, Okay. exactly. So based on this, you Muslims should have four Qur'an according to four people. No, no, sir. That is that uh, the Prophet Wasallam said that you should learn Qur'an from four people. Exactly. And that are the, so, the Sahabas. Okay, so learn Qur'an from four. And now we have many versions of the Qur'an. It's not four. Even your Prophet says that Allah, he sent him the Qur'an, seven Qur'an, correct? No, they are basically their dialects of the Quran that how to recite the Quran. No, no, my they friend, are, if it's how to recite, this is not a new Quran, then this is silly to say how to recite because the, 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 the story is. Sir, I would just, sir, I would just like to give you an example like uh, in Surah Duha, okay. uh, it starts with Vadduha. So there are different dialects. We can say Vadduha, Vadduhe, Vadduhi. So these are no, the this is, different this is, dialects. This is false argument. This is not true because there's a huge difference between those Quran. As an example, is it Khalifa or Khaliqa? You know, you yes. you, rec you recite Al-Fatiha, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Does it say Ahdina Surat Al-Mustaqeem? Yes. Okay. What does Surat Al-Mustaqeem mean? The straight path. Okay. Don't you know that in the book of Warsh, it is Al-Zurat Al-Mustaqeem? Yes. Uh, no, I don't have this in my knowledge. Okay. Al-Zurat is a fart. Mm-hmm. So how that lead us to the straight fort? Yes. This is this is silly. So you will say now to me this is a different way of recitation. This is a totally different world. If I ask you right now, and, uh, when Allah yes. He says, I am going to uh, create Fil Ardi Khalifa. Mm -hmm. Khalifa, Caliphate. I'm create I'm going yes, to create. Yes. yes. Okay. And this yes. is about Adam, right? Yes, yes. In different reading, it is Khalifa. There's a huge difference between yes. Khalifa and Khalifa. Khalifa yes. is somebody to inherit. Khalifa is a creation. So this is not different reading. This is different words, have different meaning. So and th sir, and I would also like to, uh, pardon me, but I would also like to uh, ask one, one more question that, do you respect our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon No, I don't. Do he respect me to respect Why? him? He called me dog. Why? He called me filthy. He called me najis. He called me animal. He called me kuffar. He called me liar. He called me all names. In the top of that, he ordered you to attack me and kill me and take my wife. Why well, mm. I respect him? No, he didn't say it. Okay, let's go. Chapter 9, verse 29. Read it for me. Uh, uh, can you read it? Huh? Can you read it for me? Will you go? I mean, you know, you are the Muslim, so read it. Okay, I'll read it. But there are also rights of Christians written in the Quran. There are many rights. There's what? There are many rites. Prophet, peace be upon him, even allowed the Christians to pray in the Masjid al uh, Come on, this is, this, is, this is all stories. You see, the Quran says, don't let the Mushrikeen get closer from the Kaaba for they are Najis. And we are, according to you, Mushrikeen. So don't give me those speeches. Those speeches were wrote no, to somebody. What do you mean, no, sir? Um, uh, no. Are, uh, we are we Mushrikeen or not? Are we Mushrikeen as a uh, Christian? Are we Mushrikeen according to Islam or not? No, no, no respect, brother. You are not Mushrikeen. You are Ahle Kitab according to us. And we okay, can even guys, marry you. Okay, my friend. What's your name? Uh, no, sir. I cannot tell you my name. Give me a name. Uh, give me a name I, to call you with. What's your name? Give me a name. Give me a name. Uh, human. Human. Your name is a human. No problem. That's a good name, actually. Yeah. Your prophet, you don't deserve it. Anyway, listen to this. You just said that the Quran does not call us uh, Mushrikeen. Correct? Yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes. So now if I if I show you that the Quran says so, what you would do? 
I would uh, do research on it and I would art, ask uh, different uh, scholars of Islam about this. No, no, no. Um, what, so when you say to me something, are you saying it because you are sure or you are just uh, making things up? No, no, sir. I am sure about them, but I am uh, just raising the point that uh, there is contextual, there is okay. uh, context of seeing something. Oh, context. Come on, context. What context? The story is there. It says, those who say that Jesus is God, he is Allah, they are mushrikeen. Chapter 5, verse number seven, 17. What, um, what shirk mean? What shirk mean? What shirk mean? Refresh my memory. What the word mushrikeen mean? Uh, those who do shirk. What does that mean? Who associate partners with God. Okay. We believe that Jesus is God, correct? Yes. Okay. That make us mushrikeen or not? Mm, yes, according to this definition. Thank then... you. So, so you you know, you know, speak with my respect to you with ignorance, confirming your ignorance, and you claim that you know you are a Muslim. Obviously, you are not. You are, you know, you don't have knowledge. Same time, you're a prophet, he says, those who they are mushrikeen, they are filthy. So don't let them enter the holy ground in the same so, time sir, if this is the point i would like to quote a verse from the holy quran and uh, that verse is in the uh, surah araf mm -hmm. and it is written that uh, if a uh, if anyone is uh, a muslim or a christian or a jew but he does good deeds so he will enter the paradise it is written in surah araf now friend this is this is when your prophet was without army he was desperate to make anyone follow him he did not know what to do, so he promised even the Sabi and who worship the stars and the and the holy fire to be mm -hmm. in heaven. But those are people who don't even worship Allah. You see, mm -hmm. the Sabi and if you go and you know if you go and read their their religion, and even though so, supposedly today the, the Sabi and trying to present themselves in front of Muslims that they are close mm -hmm. to the Muslims, but they are not. The Sabi and mm -hmm. are people who they are worshiping uh, uh, stars and they have a. Uh, holy fire and even abraham supposedly he is one of them mm -hmm. you know the story of abraham exactly. right exactly okay so yes, abraham yes. is one of them and they are worshiping what according to the according to the quran those worship you know uh, idols idols for what idols of uh, gods of uh, sky which yes. is stars and etc in chapter 6 verse yes. number 74 abraham he said to his father azar are you going to worship idols as God? Okay, so how in the world uh -huh. Muhammad he said to the same people you will go to heaven? Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. So brother, <laughs> so brother, I will uh, study these things, but I respect you. You are just like my elder brother. So uh, brother, I would just uh, like to request you that please uh, don't uh, speak uh, bad things about Prophet Muhammad. It's no, no, my, my friend, I am here. I'm here. You see, don't tell me please, etc. I'm here to expose this filthy man. He's a child molester, a person. Who is <laughs> but before. brother, when I am but respecting you and no, I am saying that you, know, I don't, you don't have to respect me. Who cares if you respect me or not? This is not about respect. Don't be a fool. Who cares about respect? I respect you. Respect me. This is this is garbage talk. We are talking yes. about faith here. We are talking about faith. We are not and talking can about. Can I also ask you one question about uh, Christianity directly? Well, go ahead. That is masturbation allowed in Christianity. Well, Jesus was busy making the blind see. He is not busy talking about masturbation. This is what where Muhammad he filled the gap. Muhammad is a person. He is busy with his penis, his testicles. He is busy with the virgins. Each time you sleep with them, Allah will put his finger there and he will make them virgin. You will have 70 years orgasm. Your penis will be endless. So Jesus was making the blind see, was walking in water, was healing the leper, was feeding thousands, and was forgiving sin. Muhammad was busy with the bathroom. When you enter the bathroom with your left foot, you will become invisible. If you don't, Shaitan will play with your anus. If you don't say a prayer before intercourse, Shaitan will rod himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. This is why you are following a filthy man and we are following the Holy Messiah. No, sir. I also respect Jesus Christ. He's a I don't care prophet. if you respect my friend. This is this. We are discussing the truth and facts. You don't have to agree with me. You keep saying I respect, I respect. If you respect Jesus, you don't say what you are saying about him. No, sir. Uh, the thing is that uh, the Prophet ﷺ, uh, uh, taught us about all the things. He taught about, uh, taught, uh, taught us about Muhammad the direct, said uh, that dietary. Allah, he promised me when, when Khadija was dying, he said, send my greeting to my wives. Khadija, she said to him, hmm. did you marry women before me? She was dying. Hmm. He said, he, no. Allah, he promised me, 
so as asia and mary the mother of jesus they will be my wives so i respect you my friend and then i will sleep with your mother yes. is that how you respect jesus no 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 sir okay so what is the respect obviously this man is is, is ill is sick he want to have the wife of the pharaoh he want to he yes. want to have the sister of moses which is the yes. mary the mother of jesus according to him so obviously mm. this person is sick anyone is famous he want to have her in the bed he worship himself he thinks no, himself i just asked sir uh, sir i just asked you a simple question that i want to know that uh, like uh, the adultery is forbidden in uh, the christianity you agree with me that adultery is forbidden in christianity absolutely jesus he said even it's better for you to take your eye if it's going to mislead you and get you to take you to hell so but, sir, but, but so in sir, Islam, li likewise <clears throat> So, so, sir, likewise, I'm asking you a simple question that is masturbation allowed or not? It is a very simple question. My friend, my friend, who, uh, uh, anything is not, let us say, it's not what God supposedly given you. It is not lawful. So it, the masturbation as a, uh, as a, let us say, as a technique you do, it, it's nothing. But when you do masturbate, you will be thinking about someone else, right? Yes. Okay, that is the same. Because you are not just masturbating. It's not that just the fluid is coming out. You are imagining, thinking. According to your prophet, is okay. As an example, when a woman, she come to Muhammad, and she said to him, yes. I saw a wet dream. Mm -hmm. Did Muhammad, he question how you do that? What you were dreaming about? You have no, no husband? No. All what he's worried about is washing her vagina. So Muhammad is yes. a person, he is very silly. He don't go really for what is sin or what is not. Actually, the Quran no, says, hold on, hold on, my friend. You asked me a question. Let me explain to you. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Imagine me and you right now talking, and then a lady, she entered my room, and she say, Christian Prince, I have a question. I was imagining myself having boom, boom with the guy. Please, you are a prophet. Yes. Can, should I wash my vagina now? What is that? So the question yes. for Muhammad was not about doing sin. The question is, should he should he should should, should wash her vagina or not? I mean, this is this is stupid religion. So he should say to her, well, you should not do that anyway. While you are mm -hmm. while you are imagining yourself with the man touching yourself, he said to her, wash your vagina. So now this is the problem washing the vagina. No, sir. Like you quoted the verses of uh, Gospel of Matthew, that uh, that if you look lustfully at the girl with the eye, so you can pop up the eye. Uh, so likewise, the prophet, uh, it is even written in the Surah Nur in the chapter number twenty-four that uh, lower your gaze and guard your modesty. So Islam also teaches uh, teaches us about modesty and guarding our eyes and our private parts. So it is also a very pure religion. My friend, there's a video made just a few days ago. You can w watch it in the the channels of uh, I forget the name about a guy his name <clears throat> his Fifi and two other Muslims and the, the title of it yes. is it is it okay to be a pimp and you are the one who mentioned the chapter of Anur chapter 24 yes chap okay. chapter 24 yes all right yes. it's allowed for you to be a pimp go and watch the video those are three Muslims who, who hate me to death yes the question was it uh, and they said to them they are speaking to them each other they said brother it sounds like it's okay to be a pimp this is a permission to be a pimp Watch the video on love. This is chapter 424, yes. 424, sorry, chapter 24, yes. verse number 33. It says that it is, don't force your girls to do prostitution. Prostitution, not only adultery. This is a pimp house. Yes. And yes. if you force them, Allah is all merciful. So there's no penalty in Islam mm -hmm. for you being a pimp. And actually, if you force it, Allah is merciful. If they agree, it's a good deal, which means, don't force them to do prostitution. So what if they out if they agree? If they agree, it's fine. No, no. Well, no, no, no. This is the this is the verse in front of you, chapter four, verse twenty-four, and you can go watch the video. Somebody post the link, please. Mm -hmm. Admin, post the link. Post the link about no, uh, no, the sir, permission to no, be sir, a pimp. The, the, <laughs> no, sir. The, the verse is saying that you should not force the girls to prostitute uh, to prostitution. But if you do, but no, sir. Okay, okay, just okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just I will go with you. I will go with you. You shall not for not for force not your girls to do prostitution. If they force not, force not, okay, okay. Yes. What if they don't force? If because it says there's a condition. If they don't mm -hmm. want, so if they want, it's okay. 
No, this is so. Uh, friend, this is related to me. common please sense. Uh, no, no, it's not up to you. The word is there. It says in aradna tahasuna. If they don't want, yes. if they want chastity, they don't want to do that. Yes. Okay, for them not. So if they want that, then you can do so. No, and sir. That go, is also for you can go, sir. You just can go a read the sir, interpretation, and you can go. Watch brother, the can you, brother, can you give me just one minute? Go ahead. Sir, I'm just saying that uh, when we take out the directives, we should read all the Quran and the, all the Quran should friend, be in our mind. I so just, sir, just, sir, than, sir, just give me one give me minute. Speech, sir, just give... you, no, listen, don't give me a speech. Trust me, I know the Quran from the beginning to the end. In the top, on the top of that, isn't it you as a Muslim believe that even prostitution or adultery, it is a destiny? It is a? It is a destiny. Uh, what is the meaning of destiny? Can you please? Destiny me? means Allah He wrote for you that you are going to sleep with this woman and this woman and this woman, and then uh, you have no, to. No, that it. is forbidden. What do you mean forbidden? That uh, it is not allowed. Prostitution is not allowed. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Is it true that adultery doesn't matter if prostitution or not? Now, adultery or in general, is it true that Allah He wrote for you how many women you will sleep with, which you have to do? Yes or no? Mm, uh, I, I cannot uh, understand your question. Okay, is it true that in the Allah before He created you, He wrote yes. that Mr. Muhammad is going to sleep with a woman. Her name is Fatima, and women her name is Halima, and women her name is uh, uh, Jonah, whatever. And then, oh, oh, okay, okay, I understand your question. That you are asking that is it predestined all these yes, things? Yes. I think that uh, it will be predestined as God has predestined all the things in all this right. world. So uh, how is that forbid adultery if Allah is the one who is making you do adultery? <laughs> no, no, he has given us free will, but he knows that who will do the no, no, adultery. This is not will about not he adultery. knows. You see, you, you, are, you don't know what predestiny means. Predestiny means not he knows. It means he decide for you. Okay, I, okay want you, brother, I, want you, I, will... I want you, my friend, I want you to look with me in the screen. I have a hadith for you, which is authentic. <coughs> yes, yes. <coughs> Go ahead, please read. Yes, me just give me one minute. I am, I am opening the screen. Just give me one minute. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Can you read it? <coughs> uh, yes. Verily, Allah has fixed the very proportion of adultery. Okay. Uh, can I go ahead? What? Uh, verily, Allah has fixed the very proportion of adultery which a man will indulge in, and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is the lustful look, mm -hmm. and the adultery of tongue is the listless speech. The heart desires and yearns, which the parts may or may not be perfect. Okay. You must commit. So Allah, He wrote for you how much adultery you would do. Which you must commit. It's not a free will, as you said. Yes. Okay. So what? Where is? Where, yes, yes. What this religion is about? This is stupid. So Allah, He decides no, for sir. me. No, sir. What do you mean, no, sir? You I have mean, perceived the wrong. Uh, uh, my brother, you have just perceived the wrong meaning of the hadith. Okay, give me the real meaning. Go ahead. So, sir, the right meaning is that uh, Allah is basically saying Allah knows. Allah knows that Our we friend, will why, commit adultery. Why adding and... words is not there. It says, Allah has fixed, has fixed, not Allah knows. Allah has fixed. Read with me, read with me. I don't know what's wrong with Muslims when they're yes. reading. Are you blind? Yes. Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. He is the one who fixed it for, for you. He did not say, yes. Allah, he knows how much he will do. It says, he is the one who fixed the very portion which a man would do of his necessity. Yes. He must commit. He must, does it say must commit? Yes. Okay. So if there's no choice to change in the future and not to do it, there's no choice to be good or bad for Allah. He wrote for you the very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge in. So it's not about yes. Allah. He knows it's about Allah. He decides yes. for you. Yes. So you Christians do not believe in predestination? No, we don't believe in such a thing because this is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. This is why Jesus said, okay. when, when the Jews, they, they crucified him in the, in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, 
they do not know what they are doing because if it was a predestiny why he will forgive them <laughs> you know so, sir, sir, sir likewise this seat is also in the uh, taif when the uh, prophet was prosecu uh, persecuted persecuted by the people not, this is not this is not daif this is sahih hadith secondly it's all over the quran the quran says so predestiny is so clear and even your prophet he claimed that even the sin of adam was a predestiny allah he decided for you for him to commit sin 40 years before he created him correct yes okay yes so why why allah okay, he brother, adam? so i will, so uh, if, do, I will do all right so if allah he, he he forced adam to commit sin why he kicked adam from heaven <laughs> Because it was also the free will. There is also written in the Quran that uh, Allah has given us free will. That is why we are Ashraf al My friend, where is the free will? I mean, I, 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 I'm I talking to myself. If Allah, he wrote for you the destiny you will do. And then even Adam, mm -hmm. he did not commit sin. Allah forced him to commit sin. And you keep saying to me free will. I will read about these things. All right. Okay, so, brother. So, uh, thank you. Any anything else I can help you with? <clears throat> uh, 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 and uh, can you also tell me about uh, any application of Bible that is available on App Store that I can read? Well, uh, you know, you know, for me, there's nothing that's called application. God is not a book. God is not application. God is the one who make you a better person. So, if a book yes. will fail to make you a better person, this is a book of the devil. As simple as that. So when the Quran says you can go and do muta, this is not God talking for sure. When the Quran says uh -huh. that God will give you women with big boobs, this is insult to your mother and my mother, your sister and my sister, because women is not, they are human like us and we are born yes. from them. We should not speak about them. They are just boobs. So yes. a word of God is not an application. A word of God is the, is the miracle which can change you and can change me to be better people. So look around mm -hmm. you now. Is the Muslims better people because of Islam or they are burning the earth around them and around their neighbors? Sir, I am also Muslim, but I never committed adultery. Friend, or because never... you are not a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, you will do what Muslims do. You're a prophet, even he no. forbid. Okay, let, let me ask no. you. Are you, yes. are you allowed? Are you allowed to do farming? Mm, farming? Yeah. Yes, we are allowed to do farming. Muhammad, he said that those who do farming, they will go to hell. Where it is written, please give me reference. We can find the hadith. Let me remember the hadith, what the hadith is saying. Uh, because he wants you to be a war warrior. And those yes. who do that, you know, let us see if I can find it. Let me try. I'm trying to remember the hadith. Sir, uh, one more thing that please also do not reveal my identity as I do not want my identity to be revealed. You want what? Uh, sir, I basically want to hide my identity. I'm not showing you uh, anything. I, 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 you know, and always you can call me, change your, give yourself whatever name you want. I don't know. I don't so share. I, I don't share. Really, I, okay, I don't okay, share. Okay, this is why I told thank you. you. Thank you. This is why I told you. Give me a name to call you with. You know, I did not. I don't okay. care who you are. Right. God, God bless you. God bless you, brother. You're welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to remember the hadith you see sometime like sometime your memory fail you uh, uh, sir can you please tell me that uh, which translation of the Quran have you read of its scholar I do not read the translation I speak Arabic Arabic is my first language when I share here oh. translation I share because you guys don't speak Arabic you know oh so you know uh, how uh, to speak Arabic I'm an Arab oh oh nice okay so this is why I say to you, it says in Aradna Tahasuna. So, you know, if they choose desire, if, if they choose its chastity, mm -hmm. then so what if they choose not? Then it's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, okay, uh, yeah, actually, let me let me see. I think I found I found the hadith. Yes. And here you will see that Muhammad is a very evil person. Read with me carefully. Mm. Yes. It says here. Uh, uh, no, actually, this is not the one I want. They posted the hadith, but this is not the one I want. Yeah, this is not the one you want. Yeah, no, no, there's there's a hadith. This is a different hadith. I will try to remember it. Yeah, there's a hadith clearly. Muhammad he says that he, like the one who have those equipment, agriculture equipment, Allah will humiliate him. 
Allah literally yes. will humiliate this person. Mm -hmm. And then you ask yourself, why in the world such a thing would happen to a person for he is doing farming where we will eat? Because Muhammad, he want criminals who go yeah. after. Uh, here we go. I found it actually. Here we go. Abu Umama on saying a uh, 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 long share and come to agriculture in uh, equipment or etc. He told that he had heard the prophet saying that this is will not enter any people house without God causing ignorance to enter it. Mm. This is Al-Bukhari. So just because you have just because you have equipment of farming in your house Allah will humiliate yes. this house why what is the problem exactly what the sin what sin mm -hmm. they committed so who is going to feed the Muslims I will do a search on this who is going to feed the Muslim my friend this is Al Bukhari who is going to feed the yes. Muslims so the one who mm -hmm. have equipment of agriculture he will be humiliated by Allah so who really? are you uh, are you Catholic or Protestant my friend there's nothing there's not such a thing Catholic or Protestant Jesus he is the Lord and this is what we worship we don't worship a Pope we don't worship a priest the man who follow a man he will die with the man the one who follow God that is the Messiah he will live forever so those questions they don't count for me so do you consider Jesus a God yes he's my Lord he's my Savior absolutely no, but he was the uh, he was the prophet of God. He was not God. As how can the God be crucified? My friend, how how can God be crucified and don't and come back if he is not God? <laughs> yes. You see, so why we ask ourselves? You see, I want you to be smart. You know, I believe you are a smart person, but you know, yes. you grow up in a society and you repeat the questions. You heard it. How Jesus can be God? He was crucified. The question is, well, did Jesus? go and never come back did jesus get killed and that's it mm. he was a loser or victorious so let us say i am a person who is wearing bullet proof and then people shoot at me and then okay they, because they shot too many shots i am now in the ground and even they buried me but the second day yes. i came back to them and i say i'm alive so how yes. that can be done for a human like me and you is that normal yes uh, so, so, so uh, I have one more question that if you consider Jesus as God, then in all the uh, previous Abrahamic religions, Jesus should also be considered God. But in, but in the Judaism, the God was, there was one God, but in the Christianity, there is Trinity. Now, so why is this? One God is the Trinity, is not the opposite. Because simply, when we say one God, we are not adding additional God. The Trinity is one God. We believe, we Christian, when we pray, we be say our father. We don't say our fathers. Yes. Have you ever seen a Christian saying our fathers? No. No. Our father. Why? Because we believe in one God. So he's one God, but our God, he is a present between us, or he 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 told us about himself that he is a spirit, which means he's between us, yes. but we cannot see him. And he come to us as a flesh, that is the word which is God, yes. come to us in the flesh. And he, in the same time, he is in heaven. That is the Father. Yes. So three person, one God. So if we say how that can be possible, that's very easy. If you go in the Quran, yes. you will see that Jesus, and he is in the Quran, he is just a prophet, right? Yes. Okay. The Quran said that Jesus is the word of God, correct? Yes. Okay. This word, Allah, he's, he, he sent it down to Mary, correct? Yes. All right. This word became a man, correct? Yes. This word have a spirit, correct? Yes. Okay. So if we go in the Quran, read the chapter 4, verse 171, we will see that the same verse is saying no trinity is the same verse saying you can be three and one at the same time. Read with me yes. carefully. Chapter 4, verse 171. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah thought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was, between two brackets, this Muslim translation, no more than, okay, a messenger of Allah. So take a note, he is just a man, correct? Yes. All right. And then, yes. and he is his word. So he's what? He's the word of Allah, correct? 
Yes. Okay. And he is, he based with that word on Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. From him who? From God. Correct? Yes. Okay. So let us put it together. The same verse saying, don't say Trinity, which means you cannot be one and three in the same time. Do we agree? Yes. All right. So No, no. Uh, no, please repeat the question. What you were saying? The verse saying, don't say Trinity. Don't say three yes. and one. Trinity is three and one, right? Three, which is yes. one. Okay. Yeah. So don't say Trinity. Yes. But the same verse says, there's a, there's a there's different kind of Trinity. Look at this. He's, he just said that the Messiah, <laughs> he was sent yes. down first in a form of a word. He was a word. So yes. before the Messiah become a man, he was what? He was a word. So, sir, my, hold on, uh, hold my on. question was my just... Friend, uh, my question was... My friend, okay. hold on, hold on. Jesus was what? The word, right? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Yes. If we go to John chapter 1, you see, in the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God. That is Jesus. Yes. Okay. So, for us as a Christian, the second you say Jesus is the word, you are saying Jesus is God. Simple. Because the word of God is God. God without his word does not exist. God's word so, is the Logos. And the Logos is what God, sir, the, the will of God. Let me continue. So Jesus is the word sent to, to down to who? To Mary, right? Yes. Okay, this word become what? Become a man, correct? Yes. John chapter 1, verse number 14. And the word became a flesh. So Muhammad is copying John chapter 1 and putting it in this verse. Trying to find Sir, a trinity. My, my... Hold on, my friend. So look what happened yes, to no. Jesus now. He is a flesh. He is yes. a messenger. Yes. Transformed from the word. In the same time, yes. he is a spirit proceeding from God. Do you see the ing yes. in your translation? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I am not, and you are not proceeding from Allah. You are not. Yes. To make it clear for you, God created Adam and Eve. And then he gave Adam and Eve the ability of reproduction, correct? Yes. Okay, to yes. reproduce. In the case yes. of Jesus, he himself is the Spirit of God, not from Adam. Yes. yes. Okay, so he is the Word, he is a messenger, which means he's a man, and he is the Spirit of God in the same time. Three, but one in the same time. How that can be? So, sir, my, my question is very simple that uh, why isn't the concept of Trinity present in Judaism? Why it is not present in it Judaism? It is. It is. If you go right away from the book of Genesis, you will see that God and his spirit, right away, the spirit of God. And then God, he came to Abraham as a man. This is why Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. The Jews, they said to him, well, you are not even 50 years old. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> you know, before Abraham, you are. He says that truly, truly, uh -huh. I say to you that Jesus, he saw yes. my day and he rejoiced for it. So the Bible uh -huh. speaks clearly in many verses about yes. the Trinity as a word does not exist in the Bible. The same as the word Tawheed. Uh -huh. If we go in the whole uh -huh. Quran, we will not find the word Tawheed in the Quran. There's no Tawheed. Uh -huh. So the Trinity is just a word we use today to present uh -huh. the faith. What is the Trinity is? Instead of saying uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we say Trinity. Uh -huh. but, but that word itself is not the important. The important is uh -huh. what we believe in in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But as you see, when the Muslims they uh -huh. say that is not, that is impossible. Well, here we go. Your prophet, he present to us something impossible uh -huh. too. Jesus is the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. The Quran says, We made every creature, which means every creature uh -huh. since uh, Adam, you know, by uh -huh. lineage, by sexual relationship, but by marriage. Uh -huh. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see exactly what I am saying. But Jesus is not from a sexual relationship. Do we agree? Yes. All right. So Jesus is an exception from chapter 25, verse number 54. Yes, his birth was miraculous. Exactly. This is why Muhammad, he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Correct? Mm, yes. Jesus is not. Yes. Jesus is not. Why? Because he is not son of Adam. He is yes. not from the lineage of Adam. He is not coming from sexual relationship. So yes. Jesus is different in everything, even in your Quran. He is the word of God. He is holy. Chapter 19, verse number 19. The Holy Son, the man just said to Mary, we are here to give you the glad tidings of Holy Son. So Jesus never commits sin. Jesus from above. Jesus said, I am from above. You are from below. How we can explain that? 
I am not of this yes. world, you are of this world. So Jesus made it clear mm -hmm. that he is mm -hmm. not from this world. He don't belong here. So mm -hmm. Jesus, when he said that, either he, you, you can say this guy is crazy, mm -hmm. saying crazy stuff. You think he is coming from different galaxy. Or you have to accept that Jesus making it clear that he's God. And yet the Muslims, they say to us, where Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. <laughs> when, yeah. when Jesus said, before Abraham I am, the Muslim, they will say to you, and you are a Muslim, okay, Jesus yeah. was born in the year of etc. So where was the Trinity before? Right? Yes. Well, Jesus said that the answer is with Jesus. He said, before Abraham I am. So his existence have nothing to do with his birth. Hmm. Okay. So, sir, now I'm a little busy. I have to do right, some work. So, well, you are bye. welcome, and I'm happy that you call me, and I invite you to leave Islam right away, because Islam is nothing but an ugly cult, and sir, nothing but sir, deception, just, sir, and it's not, sir, not but, from sir, God. But please, sir, but please do not reveal my identity. No please. problem. No, no, no worry, my friend. Go ahead. Take okay, care. Okay. Take care. Allah. Okay, love. Okay. Always, if you are a Muslim, change your name, the one you use in your Skype, and I will not know about it. Nobody will know about it anyway. <clears throat> He's a nice guy, right? We have to agree. He's a gentleman trying to understand. And this is why we are here. This is why we are here. Muhammad is an evil person. Even, even farming, because all mankind, they live because of a farmer, correct? I mean, who, what we eat today, what you ate today, there is somebody is feeding you. Muhammad don't want that. Muhammad want criminals. Why he will get upset because somebody doing farming? Because he's evil. What exactly should be our job? In your job, you go, you attack the farmer, you take his wife, you take his chicken, you take his cow, you slaughter them, you eat them, you have fun. And then, second day, we attack other farmer. This is a very evil man. Based on this, all the Muslims who do farming in the world, Indonesian, where are you, Ustaz, Indonesians? How many farmers you have in Indonesia? All of Indonesia, maybe it's farmers. According to this, Allah will humiliate you. And let me post the link. You see, sometimes, like, I mean, I have billions of hadith in my head. I don't know, I mean, uh, stories. And sometimes, like, you're going to find something, and, like, the idea did not come right away. You know, I mean, this is what happened to you when you became 110 years old. Let me post the link for you guys so you can save it. So if later I mention it, you will have it. All right? Did we have a good time? Now this person, I encourage him to go check everything. I, actually, everything I said, I showed him in the screen, right? <laughs> I didn't make a speech. We don't make speeches here. Most of them, they open their channels, bashing the Bible. Look what the Bible says, like a guy in the comment section, he says, in uh, in uh, Matthew, sorry, in, 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 in Luke. In Luke, it says, your servant, uh, Jesus approved of slavery. What the heck? Jesus dead, <laughs> but Jesus never owned slave. What is that? He said in the book of Luke, we go to the book of Luke, the same verses he's asking us for, we will find that this is about servant who serve God. This is not about real servant. When they are desperate, trying to find anything against Christianity, And yes, in the Old Testament, there's a slaves. A Hebrew slave can be a slave for seven years. He offered himself as a slave. And there's a slave of a war. The Jews themselves, they became a slave, the whole nation, eye for an eye. Those people, they are fighting to survive. Even we showed you just a few days ago, if you remember, we made a video, when this guy, he debated David Wood, which is a funny debate from both of them. Both of them, they are acting like kids. I don't know how those people, they call those debates, our debate. But anyway, even in your religion, 
when the Muslims speak about the book of number, we will find that in the interpretation says that the enemies, they killed all the Jewish women and only one woman left. And this is the woman she gave birth to Shaul. <laughs> Uh, can you talk about chapter 65 for maybe next time my friend because this is a different topic for now but anyway and we are here for a while uh, now I noticed that YouTube is downing down the numbers of my view so we understand that YouTube is fighting my videos I understand because it doesn't make sense you know I mean I saw the videos my video previous video in the morning I wake up I said to myself let me see because I promised them if it's 20,000 I will go live again so I look it was 17,000 then I look afternoon it is 14,000 can you believe it so six or seven or eight hours after and instead of having more than 20 25,000 we have 14 it was 17,000 in the morning so obviously, the Abdul in YouTube, they are playing games with me. Because I said, I will go live when it is 20. So they said to themselves, okay, we will put it down always. So he will not go live. <laughs> so my friend, uh, we will go live. And we will save the Muslims. We don't hate them. And we don't want you to hate them. They are lost. And they need somebody to help them. And we are here to help. This person, he will go right now. He will check everything I said, everything I showed him on the screen. We did not say a single thing we did not show in the screen, which is their own words, their own translation, and they cannot deny it. Can they? They cannot. When Muhammad, he says, that Mecca and Medina, sorry, is protected and no plague will enter it and no corona will enter it. And then we'll find that people die by tens of thousands. Muhammad is a fraud. And right now, for the last two years, the whole two cities almost blocked, uh, closed down, shut down. If there's no plague can enter the city, why you shut it down? Why people are dying there? So you do not need to be a genius to know that Muhammad is a fraud. You do not need to be a genius. So, I'm here to help the Muslims, and you can tell this is why this is why those who claim to have knowledge they don't dare to call me, because they will look like a bunch of fool. I bet you this gentleman who called us he think he have a lot of knowledge, but suddenly he notice he know nothing. This is why those who have long beard, they avoid calling me because it's going to be a very bad embarrassment. Where we can find source that Allah has a golden bed. Uh, you know, I mean, golden bed, this is like, you know, this is a, uh, we can find source not only about golden bed, it's about Allah being carried, he's a throne, not, not a bed. He's been carried by a chair. He have a chair carried by eight angels. And then the Muslims, they add their own fictions to this chair. That is like a chandelier and the heaven will be underneath of the chair and blah, 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 etc. But this will be a different story for maybe other time. Can you talk about Zakaria Botros? Yeah, my friend, there is no need to talk about Zakaria Botros. If you know this person, support him. He's a wonderful man. Sort of the gen we spoke about it today already. What we was talk about it. Um, <clears throat> you can go and read the interpretation of the Quran where it says that Allah chair will be carried by eight, uh, and then we find those eight. Uh, they are supposedly eight angels who have four faces, each one of them. And then it says that there are four goats, mountain goats. Go to chapter 69, verse number 17. All right. And then read the interpretation. You will find more description about those stories. Uh, 
it is find. Here we go. There's eight, I don't know what the name in English for those uh, animals. Uh, elk, eight elk. Okay, it says here. Uh, and above them, above there is eight mountains, goat, mountain goat. The distance between whose hoof and the lunches and the hunches is like the distance between heaven and the next heaven. My friend, the Christian Savior, stop repeating yourself. I answered you. Go and read the interpretation for those verses. Why people are, you know, they keep repeating, repeating, repeating. And what, you know, and do you think I'm just here to show you with tons of endless uh, reference? Come on. Don't we have enough? I just answered you. You, 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 don't, you don't want to do any job. You want me to go and open the pages and flip the pages for you. I read the pages. You, you don't want to do anything. I just told you, go and read the interpretation for the verses. Where we can find, where we can find, where we can find. You don't want to do anything. You will see now, I, I will finish the video and then I'll go to Patreon. I will see somebody saying, where I can find this reference. I just post it. They are lazy. They don't want to do anything, and they think I have nothing to do except just. And, and what 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 make it really make me upset from people is, I stay for hours with them. Posting reference, showing reference, and after I finish, they ask me for the same reference, or they ask me a questions when I'm done. A friend, if you have a question, ask it here. You ask me a question, I answer you. This is one of the funny things about people here that no matter how many times I repeat even the same topic they ask me for the reference or a person will say to me where I can't find the reference in your book my friend it's in the book where I can't find the reference which is in your book I mean do you see the madness like last time I, I, I finished my podcast I saw the text but it was too late I said like God bless you and I'm done Somebody saying, where well, can I find the reference of your book, Six and Allah? My friend, it's in the book. It is in the reference there. It says, this is in the book of etc., page etc. And you're asking me where we can find the reference of your book. What's wrong with people? So why I'm giving you there the name of the book and the page number? People, they drive you crazy, my friend. Where I can find the reference in your book? Do you remember the, the Fifi? He says, I cannot find the reference in a Christian Prince introduction. The first page, they could not find it. Five, six Muslims, they start looking, they could not find it. And then we get them busted in two seconds. I mean, a kid, he can find it right, right away. And they made a video about it and a scandal. Christian Prince, the introduction is not there. He is making things up. And then people start laughing at them. Just use your brain. Listen carefully to the conversation I just have with this person and I want you to ask yourself how we can have similar conversation with a Muslim. The answer is very easy. Build your knowledge before he talk. Before he finish his talk, I have an answer for him. Before he even finish the question, I have the answer for him. That not because there's a two people who just love to talk. You have to talk and make sense. So this person, he retreat. You have no answer what he can say. He cannot deny it. He cannot say it's not true. Why? Because knowledge is power. Ignorance is shame. And you as a Christian, you are following the God of knowledge. That's why Jesus said, read the books. He ordered you to read the books. Search the truth. And when you find it, the truth will set you free.
That is God. God is the one who set me free, not the one who make me Abdul, slave. God do not need slaves. He is almighty. What I would do to him, I would cut a tree. I will cook a sandwich. What I can do to God? Nothing. So the true God, the true Lord which we follow, he do not need slaves. This is why Jesus, when they ask him how to pray to God, he said, say this, our Father, we have a Father. We are children in his kingdom, they are slaves. We are free in his kingdom, they are slaves. We are free from our needs. When Jesus said, he and she, they will not get married in heaven, which means they will not have sex. You know what Jesus is talking about? He said you will be the same as angels. You will not be an angel, but you are the same as angels, which means God will free you from all your needs. This is the freedom. You are not under any kind of needs. In Islam, you are slave of needs. You go to heaven, Allah will increase your horny desire a hundred of times. So you wish to do it maybe once a day, once a week in earth, in heaven, you cannot stop having sex. He make you addicted. He make you slave of your penis and your vagina. With Jesus, you are free. You are free from all the needs. And that will make you a true child of God. And in the heaven of Christ, if God cannot make me happy without food, what kind of God this God is? In the heaven of Islam is nothing but big boobs, falafel. Actually, there's not even falafel. There's only meat of birds. I mean, there's not even a cheese kebab, which is stupid. He said to me, whatever you wish, and then the buffet is just bird food. So when we speak about the Messiah, <clears throat> uh, when we speak about the Messiah, we speak about the Lord. He wants us to be free. He wants us to be children of God. He do not need slaves. Jesus never owned one. Jesus, he never charged people for service. Jesus, he never asked kings to build him palaces. Imagine if you have the power of Christ today. You can bring people from death. How many people are willing to pay all the money they have if you can bring me back from death? How many? How many kings? would love to have such a person. Each time they die, he brings them back to life. So with the Messiah, we are a new people. Uh, a man is saying, as if you don't have a desire for that, a man, uh, thank you for saying that. This is, this is showing me that Islam is, you know, Muhammad is a stupid man. And his God proven to be stupid too, because he could not make you smart. The sex desire, my friend, it was not meant to be a desire for sex. It was desire to have a family. This is why God, he created Adam and Eve, not Adam and 72 Eves. So with your religion, you made nothing except everything is about sex. With the Messiah, Adam and Eve was created to have a family, a man who love a woman, a woman who love a man, not a man and hundreds of chickens as a rooster. So your God is the God of the lost. So God gave me a sexual desire to have a family, but not to be a pimp. In your religion, Muhammad, he made you a pimp. You exchange women as a changing shoes. The value of marriage does not exist. Women is just a sex toy. Just do it legally. And they call it halal. You go, you ask a woman to sleep with you, go to the ma'zoon, how much you charge me? 
I will sleep with you two days, three days, and then I divorce you, and then I get another woman. Or I can divorce every day four women and marry new four women second day. Because there's no marriage in Islam, it's just a prostitution. Right? That you are not a man? Is that what you are saying? Well, my friend, I do not need to prove to you that I'm a man. I don't want to be rude to you. Because a man is not about having sex. Because if what make you a man is having sex, that means all donkeys are men. And by the way, your prophet, he cannot have sex. This is why the Quran says, وَإِنَّ شَنِئَكَ لَأَبْتَرْ The one who accused me that you are cut off, he is the one who is cut off. So your prophet is the one who said in the hadith, I was the most weak person in between mankind and boom boom. And then I invoke my God, and then he sent me a dish of shish kebab, I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. So based on you, you are saying that your prophet wasn't a man because he was the lowest, the lowest between all mankind. How you can beat that? And here we notice Muhammad is again being a fool. Since when shish kebab will give you the power of 40 men? And what kind of God? He cannot fix the penis of his prophet unless he made shish kebab for him in his kitchen. I thought God, he can make you strong very easy. They say, hey, Muhammad, penis fixed. <laughs> Muhammad, penis is strong. <laughs> but no, Allah have to go to the kitchen, buy some spices and Indian curry, mix it with some beef, and then he make like word like chicken, chaka, kaka, 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 voodoo, you know, and then he send with Jibreel, and then Jibreel come to Muhammad. Muhammad, and Muhammad now his penis is not working. He said, who is this? Hey, Muhammad, don't feel down, man. Don't feel down. The solution is coming here. Here we go. Allah, he just sent him a dish. Send you a dish. Eat it, and you will see what will happen. Muhammad, he says, man, I tried everything. It's not going to work. I played even the anthem. He's not standing up. Jibreel, he says, trust me. This is the recipe of Allah. He went to the kitchen, and he did it. He said, I'm telling you, it's not going to work. I played the music, did not work. Anthem, did not stand up. It's nothing working. I told you, I'm the most weak, you know, most weak person between all mankind. And boom, boom. And just said, try it and you will see. And then Muhammad, he put the first bite. The second he put the first bite, brother, his penis start like moving. The second bite became an antenna. The third bite, he was jumping like a mule. And what make it more funny that Fatima, she ate with him. So I don't know if Fatima, she got the power of 40 men too. That is a different story. So anyway, <laughs> are you saying you're the man? <laughs> this is what make you a man? <laughs> Your prophet have 13 wives. He could not have a baby from any of them. I wonder what is that? And you know, when, when, uh, when uh, a woman, she came to Muhammad and he, she said that she have a wet dream. Uh, and she is talking about washing her vagina. So, you know, she is saying that she have orgasm. So the wife of Muhammad, she said, do the woman have this charge? Do you see it? This is the wife of your prophet. Your prophet never, never, ever made her have this charge. And you are talking who's the, who's the man? This is the wife of Muhammad. Make it clear that this powerful man who got the, po the power of 40 men after eating the dish of shish kebab, he never was able to make his wife have orgasm. And she's asking the husband, like, what the heck? Women have this charge? What? Do you see it? This is the wife of your prophet. The laundry is out. Now, everybody knows in the world now, thank the Muslims, they report for us the story, knows that Muhammad, he was not using his penis for sure. He was using lipstick. Prove me wrong. She never ever heard that there is a woman, she can have orgasm. And who is she? She is the wife of Muhammad. So what Muhammad was doing in the bed? Watching cartoon? Oh, 
like what the heck hey Muhammad the wife is uh, so, I don't want to I don't want to go in details but I feel sorry for this woman so her husband the husband he go around he says I was yesterday with all the wives no wonder he were with all the wives he were nothing the hadith says he used to go to his wife boom boom all of them he was doing nothing he was shaking hands in the best scenario shaking books but as you see this wife she's you see this is proof not only this woman she never has charge even the other wives because they speak to each other she never heard ever that there is a woman she have this charge like what it's like first time watching Discovery Channel and then Muhammad have to explain to her, he says, no, nah, yeah, sure. Otherwise, how the child resembled his mother. Look at the genius too. So this charge make you resemble your mother. Can you believe it, the stupidity? This charge of the women is the reason to resemble your mother. Look at the genius, Muhammad. Different hadith says that the one who comes first, the baby will look like him, which means a male or female, and look will look the same too. So if you are ugly, if you are not good looking, regardless if you are male or female, please, please don't have orgasm first. We have enough ugly people in this earth. I mean, look at me. Hello? <laughs> anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? I think yes we did so please don't forget to leave your comment because comment will increase the view of people people will share and uh, feel free to uh, you know say something I mean you watch the whole video you have nothing to say are you a piece of wood are you a watermelon are you a goat nothing moved you nothing make you think nothing make you question nothing make you answer because if nothing can move you after all of this that's mean you are not really exist. You are just a waterman. Somebody will open you, put you in the fridge, and that will happen sooner or later. So don't be a waterman. Don't. Be human who use his brain. And the Lord, he gave us an amazing gift. Uh, why you don't put uh, to a singer video we have many videos about him go watch them i mean why this one only who care when i put a video people don't watch the uh, uh, i mean the last videos they focus on it and they forgot the video before it so that video because i wanted them to watch the video before it which is way more important than the stupid to a singer already we got him busted many times what a big deal anyway thank you guys for being here May the Lord bless you all, and I hope that the gentleman who called me today, he will call me next time leaving Islam, and I think he will. This is why he is, he was worrying about his identity. He is thinking seriously that he don't want to be Muslim no more. So I think this is the scenario. So we pray for this person, pray for him to be saved, pray for his family to see the truth, pray that every Muslim will see how stupid this religion is, and they will get out of it. I remember one thing that with a Christ impossible is possible so if it is impossible to make a Muslim believe you are wrong because with a Christ it is possible it's not a Christian Prince who make a Muslim believe it is the Lord who help to open their eyes remember they have to come to him and knock at his door and then he will open for them. So for us, we show them the way, we share the truth, we make them think, and then they have to ask the Lord to answer, and the Lord will answer. So Christ will open their eyes if they choose their eyes to be open, free will. We don't believe in destiny. So with your free will, invite Jesus to your house, and he will be there. Jesus, he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. So today we spoke about him many times, he is with us. 
and that can happen to you, Muslims. Invite Christ. His name is amazing. His name is a miracle, and he is a miracle. The Messiah is the walking, talking, living Word of God. Not only he do miracle, but yet he is the miracle. And the miraculous Christ is going to come back, and that day will be a judgment day, where all mercy in the world cannot help you, because it's going to be too late. So accept him before it is too late. God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care.